Welcome back to another episode of the Red Wagon Inn. Professional role players with with high standards, and that's it. Just professional role players with great quality cameras. Alex, <laughs> looking so good today. Oh, and Jakey, looking like Jakey normally does. Nothing to say there. Jakey just moved down to Texas with me. How's it going, everybody? Glad to see you all. If you didn't notice... It is our seven month anniversary for doing Red Woo! Wagon Inn. We've been doing this for seven months now. So oop, that's pretty awesome. Glad to see everybody on for tonight. We got a fun session planned after what happened last time. And oh my no, god, Jakey, no. I hate everything here. Seven month anniversary, baby! Shoot some fireworks. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar if you run off into the room and make it look like the firework went flying. <laughs> Okay, that was oh worth God. it. <laughs> I'll Venmo you. <laughs> right. We I like have... how on my end, you weren't even fully finished the sentence. I'll give you a dollar if you... <laughs> <laughs> I just knew. <laughs> good, good. Thanks. Bless. Mm. Oh, man. Uh, awesome. Uh, right. We have a fun few things to be able to show for tonight but first of all anybody got anything that they're wanting to shill before we get started yeah i do what do you want and it actually involves you ryan i just entered something into chat do you want to tell them about it oh is it possibly about the form yeah cool I'm gonna so do it a couple times yeah please do <laughs> Everybody who is watching, and we'll do this a couple times throughout the night, I am trying to be better uh, and do better things and be a better DM and better stream host. So what I usually do with my players, I'm going to do with you all this time. Uh, usually once a quarter or so, I put out a little survey uh, on Google Forms that just says, what do you like about the sessions? What do you hate about the sessions? So if you could go to that link that's on there uh, in chat, uh, I would love for you all to be able to give me your honest feedback. Go ahead and give me honest <sighs> feedback, because if you don't, it's not going to help at all. I'm brutal with the characters. You should be brutal with me. So... Give me feedback. I would love to get as much information as possible. And then there's a few questions in there just for data for fun as well. Like, who's your favorite character? Who's your favorite NPC that you've seen? Castagon, what's, you know. What's the alignment of the party? Castagon. <laughs> yeah, that one. I do want to know what other people think the alignment of the party is, regardless of what Drew thinks the alignment of the party is. Half of us are good. Half. <laughs> That's Half? <laughs> Round up or down? Are you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the alignment question needs to give three it's answers. Uh, yeah, no. I'm just kidding. Uh, it wait. does. I click the button that says you only... Okay, just ignore the alignment one then because I can't fix it while we're doing stuff. I click the one that said it doesn't need three answers. <laughs> Never mind. All right, well, just give me what alignment. If we were good, neutral, and evil, whatever. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> the rest right, of the stuff is the one that I want. This next one's for your mom. I just put it in chat. Yeah, I actually, I talked to her earlier today. Uh, there's also a new chat command uh, called exclamation point click click because there's something we do in my family. Specifically, my mom does it a lot. Anytime we're talking about something and you make an immediate right turn and talk about something immediately different or want to bring something else that has nothing to do with the conversation up, you just say, hey, click click. Uh, so if we're like, Drew, your hair looks amazing today. I, I'm just saying, you're looking absolutely gorgeous. Click, click. Uh, I'm really not a fan of tomatoes. I got to say, uh, not a, that's not my favorite thing, right? So it's just click, click uh, is what we'd Absolute always say. Absolute seamless subject change. Yeah, exactly. So that's my mom's thing. And so we put that in in honor of a ribo mom in there. So uh, I too hate the tomato. Right. Anything else that needs to be shilled before I shill y'all's art? Because we got a lot of really good ones this week. Beautiful. I'm chilling art then. First up, we have one from Dragonheart, which is our <sighs> boys, Rubber and uh, his brother. Uh, and I think it's just awesome. I love oh, life. There was one more. Dearly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, 40 hours. Oh, that was a big clap. 40 hours remaining for Level Up Dice's Kickstarter. Do the Kickstarter. So if, do it. If you do want to get on it, you've got 40 hours remaining. And I can tell I you guys now that when that finishes, anyone who's in that Kickstarter... There's a whole bunch of extra things we're doing for everyone who goes to the backer kit that I can't Ooh. mention yet. I backed it. <gasps> Will you? I got mine Chat. right here on the desk. Very excite. Uh, so yeah, back that Kickstarter. 
Um, also, yeah, so Art, <laughs> we've got uh, In Life I Loved You Dearly, In Death I Love You Still with Robert and his brother. Uh, we have another picture, which I thought was really sweet, which is If You Say You're Useless, That's the Lie You'll Believe, which uh, is a Ren and How boys. They're so cute. They're so sweet. Then we have some art from our Jakey boy, uh, which is uh, more How. It's actual How from the designer of How. Him without his mask on and then him taking his mask on. Oh. I like that there's <laughs> the two images are so different. One's like, yeah, look at this. Look at this skater boy looking and then this vile evil dude. <laughs> <laughs> Scary boy. Uh, and then we have three from Mira. The first one oh. is looking oh, so good. Uh, as if uh, it was based off of Drew's drawing of their character, Ren, which I think is really awesome looking. Uh, but then they made a comic. Uh, so I'm going to show both panels up here now so that you can see uh, from left to right. Uh, it is Ren and How once again, uh, with Ren wanting How not to die uh, and wanting to, don't give, you know don't give oh shoot I actually did this backwards uh, whoops yeah, <laughs> let me get, okay. it's okay it's a manga <laughs> yeah. the consistency doesn't work <laughs> it's I just don't read the mangs that's that's how I messed it up I'm gonna pretend that's right <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were just leaving it <laughs> like no. one on top of the other just like okay <laughs> just deal with it this is how it's read now just turn the page please turn the page <laughs> yeah yeah flip <laughs> um, but no it's an awesome comic uh, it, I won't leave it up for terribly long but if you haven't read it yet it's so rad uh, with basically how getting chat powers to bring them back from the grave uh, and then I gotta say excuse me chat powers no, well it's bit... friendship healing powers was it because the okay. title of the comic is it because is it okay, i'm seeing right? the twitch logo up at the top left healing <laughs> powers of friendship <laughs> i, I hung him back the to life. logo that's very clever yeah, i thought it was just like a speech bubble and now i'm like oh that's clever yeah it's all the chat boys that's the logo of chat because uh well you know if Twitch will allow us for it to be the logo for chat. Probably not. <laughs> so moving on. Right. It's upside down. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and then we have what I think might be my favorite piece of art from uh, Safi so far. I think it's so cool. Uh, it's the ladies in the tree uh, with so cute. Like, Just so so good. Good. Pepper, Zania, and our guest star, Celine. Talk <laughs> I like the uh, question mark. Thunder? Thunder! Yes! Exclamation point. <laughs> They're Sims, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Uh, I'm sorry, but who gave up their inspo to bring them back, Drew? Who did, Drew? Did I ever use yeah, it? Drew. No, that was chat. They all banded together to give how their inspo. Yeah, Drew. Yeah, Drew. I remember rolling a nat 20 on my medicine <laughs> check. Thank you very much, Verity. That helped. Right. Let's do some rolls for recap. Need a d20 from everybody. All right, I'll, I'll give you this, Verity. Chat and friendship. friendship. Well, hey, at least I wrote the notes this week. Hey, well, there you go. You should be prepared. Did we have two people in this dice channels thing not have their dice ready to go? Jackie. Wow. Yeah, I was I ready. Know. I rolled. You distracted me. <laughs> wow. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, great. What do we got, Jackie, first? Jackie, first is a nine. Nine. <laughs> Ren? Uh, I rolled an eight. Okay. Pepper? Six. Ha <laughs> ha! I also rolled an eight, so I was like, okay, come on, somebody else. Uh, how? Now 20. Oh, oh there nice. you go, baby. Uh, Alex, nerd. hit us up. <laughs> <sighs> Are we still doing this? Unbelievable. What a waste of energy and time. Seriously, guys. So, basically... The whole episode was us wishing we were monks. Like, literally giant arrows shooting at us while our party was split. You know, Zania and Pepper meeting up with Celine and then running away from some giant wolf-like druidy thing. While, yep, you guessed it, dodging arrows. Then oh, Hound ran, of course, and Robert getting close to us, and yeah... Dodging more arrows. Well, not, they didn't really dodge it. They more absorbed a lot of them. But, you know, boys, what can you expect? And then something, something, <clears throat> Celine and Zinnia somehow are now related with religion or something. And then, yep, you guess it, more arrows. And then, so started the gauntlet of 
So we run towards this archer and how it acts as a decoy, an overly large decoy. I, I personally think more like a pin cushion, but um, we'll go with decoy. Um, we fight, you know, we dodge and, and, and everything else. We finally get to the archer and it's this old elf lady who is like, you are all evil druids from the forest. You can't find good help these days, can you? So um, after getting through her thick skull that, hey, other people can use legs and traverse through forests, she finally stops the barrage of arrows and lets us leave how kind of her, along with a special piece of cloth that supposedly, supposedly, will let us pass further north safely. And that was last session. I will almost give you one if you tell me, because you missed one thing, what animal did the druid that chased you turn into? I said it was like a giant wolf. Okay, cool. A giant uh, wolf-like druid. Yeah. There we go. I'll give you extra credit if you know the name of the elf. Look, is she really worth knowing? Not really. I mean, yeah, she almost <laughs> killed one of the party. <laughs> no, I love Party? Not really. <laughs> oh. Honestly, it's not oh, like shit. I can't give you any extra anything anyway. So. <laughs> All right, y'all need to distract for just a minute because the next stand just fell off. <laughs> oh, the name you know. was Redwood. Uh -oh. Redwood, and she gave us a teal cloth for safe passage. Don't look at the falling mic stand. Look at Potato. <laughs> wow. Hello. I'm a Rainbow, wiggly that's little potato. Such a cool microphone you got there. Well, look no, at the shush, shush. There's no microphone, just Potato. Look at the padding <laughs> on that microphone. Potato. It, really potato. The... It, it almost, oh, I don't know, it almost off. looks like this microphone. Whoa. 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 So, guys, you're in a forest. <laughs> Almost, but not quite. Look, nothing happening here, just pirate ships. Whoa. <laughs> we hey, and up she rises. rises. We hey, and up she rises. rises. We hey, and up she rises. rises. Oh, oh, now, Ryan. <laughs> God, all right. So, the mast wiggle is great. <laughs> Pepper, you don't get your inspiration. You get a GFY because you're a frog. <laughs> don't get my inspiration. Oof. I'm just Even kidding. You get your inspiration. Of course you do. See if it counteracts your three current GFYs. Oh, no, no, no. That's Zania. Never mind. You only have one. I got like none. Yeah, you only got one. I read that wrong. You have one. Zania has three. How has two. I have two. And I have one point of inspiration. And Ren has none. Yeah, we just need to sing Wellerman so that this uh, whole channel can become TikTok famous, and then people on TikTok will start watching D and D. There we go. Hey Ryan, what's uh, what's the giveaways tonight? The two giveaways are actually going to be something a little bit different. Uh, the first giveaway that we're going to be doing is someone is going to be able to design either a magic item that we will get to the party in some way, shape, or form. Uh, we will design it together, so me and whoever the winner is, uh, if they say like, yeah, I want there to be a staff that summons demons, okay, they might not get it right away, or maybe they will, and that will change a lot of things. Or we'll design a creature stat block that they'll have to fight at some point. Again, if you want them to be a god, okay, uh, we'll make it work. Uh, I'll work on the balance, but we'll have to find out when they actually come to fight the party based off of the balance that you put forward. Um, so that's giveaway number one. Giveaway number two is actually going to be something that's a collaborative effort between <laughs> Ren or, sorry, I keep Ren, uh, Drew, Jakey, and I, uh, which is the winner of giveaway number two is going to get to write one page of whatever they want, a script for Jakey, Drew, and I to read, and we will have to read it out for you. With some caveats, no not safe for work stuff, and we gotta approve the final thing. We're not gonna say a bunch of horrible, horrible things that could get us in trouble. Um, but mm -hmm. any one page that you write, we'll read it. So if you want it to be a conversation that you've always wanted to happen between Red Wagon Inn characters, that's totally fine. Or if you want Jakey, Drew, and I to do some sort of really cool atmospheric introduction to a one-shot campaign for you, We'll do that. Uh, whatever you want to do, you got one page to write it, and we'll, then we'll record it for you. So that's what the uh, fan fiction, fan fiction, fan fiction. Yep. <laughs> one page, two point font. <laughs> <laughs> Dang uh -oh. it. They found the loophole. <laughs> point five margins. <laughs> yeah, they're just, somebody's going to do a G&G &G thing. <laughs> just Anyways, on time. That, uh, that first giveaway is live. 
Yep. Awesome. So make sure yeah. that you join in for that so that we can make a AA chance to work with based off of the title of the giveaway. <laughs> also, Bobo, if you win it, uh, I know Pico's magic Glock is the magic item you will pick. I'm just putting that hit, that idea out there. There you go. Mm. There you go. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think that we're good to go. Do you all think so? Yeah. Beautiful. Then let's get started. Everybody grab a drink. Pull up a chair and come hang out with us on the side of the mountain where we last left ourselves. The elderly elf woman and the young female elf child were walking away, allowing you all to sit on their kind of archers or snipers perch that gives you a good view over the valley. From where you're at, you can currently see the ironbark forest below you uh, as the sun has just begun rising. Uh, you were just kind of entering and fighting her as the sun was starting to rise itself up in the air. So it's, it is early, early morning now. Uh, the dew is slowly just fading off of the rocks and the grass that is here on this mountainside. Down below you, you can also see uh, the, the flowing waters of the lake that move southward. Uh, you also see the house that was there that uh, someone must have came out of uh, before, uh, that you saw the light that was on, that the light was no longer there anymore, that is close to the lake, and then the pathway that is between the mountains and the lake that leads further to the north. I can always show that on the map later if we need to as well. But that's where everyone is. Celine is also currently with the group. Uh, you were all resting and healing up with How for a moment uh, as the giant Lee tall elvish woman uh, who was elderly allowed you a bit of respite before telling you to move on and as pepper said gave you this kind of teal colored cloth so it's starting to get a bit colder as well you all have gone to the hallow festival it's been a about a week or so since then it's starting to really be a little bit nippy in the mornings here and you're heading further to the north it wasn't all that bad when you were down you know by the desert town to the south but now you're starting to notice the further north you get it's getting a little chilly if you were to go terribly far northern you might need to get some winter clothes if you don't have any but for now it's okay there is the embers of a fire where the sniper's perch once was what are we doing uh okay seriously like uh Ren, if that's even your name. Like, what the hell? You're not an elf? Well, no. Not necessarily. No, actually. Is Ren your no. name? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Ren's my name. I'm, uh. And Ren looks around. How close are these two elves? They've walked a bit away. Uh, they're going up the mountain, so they're probably... They're, they're out of earshot uh, at a regular conversation. Uh, you can hear that they are talking, but it just sounds like mumbles on the wind. The only one, based off of just general... Their religion that might be able to hear it would be how if they were really paying attention. How um, is not paying attention. Fair enough. <laughs> I... Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a special breed of things. Um, you can say that again. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what more do you want to know? I mean, well, I mean, yeah, I, I'm different. Who, who the heck are you? Can we trust you? I mean, why are you here? Well, I mean, honestly, I, I was just setting up camp in that cave and you guys came to me and then asked me to come with you. And then I came. And I feel like that's a pretty... Self-explanatory answer for you. I, I, I mean, what more do you want? You asked me to come with you. I did not. Well, one of you did. What? You don't even remember who asked you to come with us? This sounds very dodgy to me. I'm sorry if I've had a, you know, run of shitty days here lately that may have made me forget a small conversation on how I got here, but, uh, yeah. You see, even that <laughs> random wolf in the background agrees with me. <laughs> so why are you going to Kern, then? I, I've already told you. Kern's where I came from. Kern's where Marcus is. Marcus was going to help us find your sister. 
I was pretty yeah pretty the, blunt the about that about in, the, in the beginning. Kern can definitely help us, but I'm not sure. I don't know what to believe anymore. I mean, you're not even you. Well, I mean, I am here right now. I mean, except I'm I'm an elf right now, but aren't you a dwarf? I I <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> continuity, please. Um, <laughs> woo. Okay, hold on. Oh to, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, 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 to be fair, I, at the last episode, I did say Rin was taking on more dwarvous features, but didn't fully change into a dwarf. It's just an elf with Gimli's beard. Yeah. <laughs> a, a more bulbous nose, you know. Pure sexy. Yeah, yeah. Pepper, um, if I can hop in here, because I of course think you can. Ren is being a little modest when they say Ren is unique. Changelings aren't just they can change when they want. They are they are beings that are actively hunted for their blood. They can change, which is a great gift, but to others they are a husk of blood. They are valuable. Imagine you find a chameleon on a leaf. The chameleon looks like it's part of the leaf, but it needs to hide. That doesn't make it any less of a chameleon. Ren has been honest and authentic with us, but Ren needs to keep themselves Eventually. safe, even around yeah, us. Yeah, but that, so that, 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 I agree 100% with you, but then why appear somewhere in the middle of nowhere with a mountain and then leave where you're going back to now? Like, there's got to be something more going on here. I mean, truthfully, if you if you want if you want the answer, it's... Marcus told me I needed to go on an adventure and find myself, and so I left. And well, Marcus is the only person I know that can help you. So, so you found yourself? No, can't say no. I have. Hmm. Well, if I may, again, Marcus sending you on this journey to find us sounds very similar to how I found this group in Summer Through the Whispers. I can't always explain to Pepper, but I think things came together that need to be. And I know there's an air of distrust right now. I mean, I don't know everything about all of you. I don't know where you've all been. But from the brief conversations I've picked up, and I mean, the way some of you toss and turn at night, I know that this isn't just open and shut. Everyone's got their baggage. And I think Ren, being so forward with their baggage and their baggage as you can see it right then and there i think that's a little intimidating and i get that it's more to feel better i won't kill you while you sleep <laughs> oh honey he would if kill I'm me gonna, while I sleep. if i was gonna try and kill you i'd at least do it while you were awake i have to say um i've ren i'm all i'm all for you uh, traveling with us but that the sentence you just uttered is not one that i thought needed to be I wouldn't have figured that that was something that anybody needed to point out. But since you did, that does actually make me feel like that you might. It was sarcasm. However, yes, I, I, I know that it was, but it feels like that didn't need to be brought up at all. That's fair. Am, am I the only... Sorry. Uh, that just... No, that no. Did worry no, me a bit. You definitely are catching on, Robert. I like it. Um, hmm. uh, is there anything else you haven't told us then? Like, I don't like to be surprised in the middle of you guys being captured and everything. And, oh my God, the person I thought it was is not the person I thought it was. No, I I usually try not to change in front of people I don't know. Hi, and <laughs> Ren waves at Celine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, hey. But a lot of the times, it just kind of happens with my emotions. Uh, it's not something I usually, like, do on purpose. I can get that. Seriously. Uh, if I had a way to just blend in and get to where I was going a lot quicker, I would definitely do that. So, I don't blame you. It does help when you can be a big, scary Leon in, in the middle of the woods by yourself. Just saying. Are you... Oh. Oh. I thought you were referring to... No, no. <laughs> what are you thinking, Sneo? 
just kind of a crazy revelation. We got some we didn't think we thought we had. I mean, it if what I've never heard of changelings before, and if what Hal was saying is true, then I can see why Ren was keeping up their appearance. I don't blame them. I mean, what's one more danger, right? We've we've got, you know, a giant dragon chasing us down. We've got gods all over the place. We have, you know, some wannabe uh, god down in the desert chasing us as well because we took his spear. Why not have uh, one of the most valuable, uh, what did you call it, Hal? Blood sacks around? Something like that. Yeah. What's one more danger? I mean, to be completely fair, if it makes you feel any better whatsoever, I don't worship any gods, so I don't have any that I can really piss off. Oh, believe me, you can piss off a god without having that god around. Well, since you mentioned that, uh, and you've been very good friends with Hal thus far, Hal and I actually uh, support the same god. I've heard... They've been nothing but kind to us thus far. Yeah. We can teach you, right, Hal? We can, or Ren, as you feel, whatever you believe or don't believe in. Just know that, and I'm sure Zadea would agree to this, We've you've got gods in your court and people here. Mm. All right, so everyone... He kind of ling- uh, Pepper kind of lingers on Celine for a bit uh, for a second too. Is there anything else we should all know so we're not surprised next time we encounter anything that could cause surprises? I mean, it's a little. <clears throat> I had to clear my throat a while ago. How do I sound now? <laughs> <laughs> you sound good, in the air. Thank you. That water did Far well. better. Thank you. Um. Thank you, Nimbus. It's a little ironic of us to uh, ask for people to expose the skeletons in the closet when we've been going around um, causing almost end of the world with Ithka. I think it's kind of ironic and funny. Pardon? We own that. Now we do. Before we didn't. Yeah. Um, it's it's actually a really long story, Celine. Oh, okay. Well, I don't. I don't need to know it. Uh, it's your business. Same th- as we just talked about. Everybody's got their own thing. I'm not, not upset about it. Yeah, but if that thing affects us in combat, it's a different story, or in Fair a dangerous enough. situation, right? I mean, I don't. I don't care if you wipe with squares or scrunches, but you know, if it's going to affect us in a dangerous situation, you should let me know. Squares, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. Parallelograms for sure. Sick. Right, you're sick. For <laughs> <laughs> all right. So north, hey? Uh, actually, to that point, you said you're going to Kern. I'm not. I need to head to where you live, Zinnia. Um, I might might be able to help with that if you trust me. But in in Kern, you can really get whatever you want there if you look in the right places. So I'm sure you could find, like, per se, a teleportation spell there. Oh. Or, <laughs> or you know, a way to get to where you need to go. Like, I, Kern's the go-all, be-all place. I got to say, I was a little confused because I thought for a moment when you said you could get anything, I'm going to f- meet my god. And so I thought you were saying that... <laughs> I could buy no it's more kind of like would have been offensive like black market kind of not necessarily always black market like you can find all sorts of stuff there but it really depends on what you need to find you can find it there okay um i don't know how long it would take to get to kern from here the sunset mountains are a ways away would it be faster zinnia you're from you can roll a survival check on that i think we're like halfway point but sun's mountains are a little further Uh right oh 12 plus 6 18 18 the sunset mountains are definitely further away 
Um, so if there is the ability to poof, then it might be faster to go from Kern, though that costs money. I'd say we're closer to Kern now than to the mountains. Okay. I have a bit of... How much would it cost in Kern to get where I'm trying to go, Ren? Um, that's a question I don't know the answer to, but it's good to have money. Okay. I have a fair bit. My parents sent me with enough to last a while. I plan to use it for lodging and food and protection if needed. But if we're going somewhere where I'll need less of that in less time, I guess that that's okay. The The big thing with Kern is if, if you're going there as a group to stay together as a group, because it's really easy to get lost there. And it's really easy for people to pick off like lone travelers. So pick, pick pick off like yeah so you remember how i said like there's like the black market side of kern like down in the deeps um yeah yeah so you want to travel in a group like like it can like... it can the lower levels can be a place and that you know there's bad people there but also good people like trafficking of beings I mean, that's partly the reason why I left, but, you know, it's... You're not making a very good argument for Kern, I have to say. No. But there's lots of good in Kern, too. If in... in... If, <laughs> again, I keep jumping in here. Anywhere you go is going to have demons in the dark. There's not a single place where everything is on the up and up. You I don't think that the there was trip. trafficking where I was from. I don't know where you were from but that is a bit different than where i'm from to, to be fair I, I think the trafficking is more for like really really rare peoples i don't think it's just like a common everyday people that gets you know stolen off the streets so so how did a changeling end up in kern it sounds like it's probably the place you want to be furthest away from i mean i gather helps, that if it helps you, you guys out no, no, how did I know, you end up in I know how to f I know how to fit in in Kern, um, and although I probably don't want to be there, I, I know how to get around. So, and like you're getting around get to, is the question. Well, no, because if we can get to Marcus, Marcus wouldn't let anything happen to me. Yeah, but how did you end up in Kern? I mean, why Kern? That's a funny story that I <laughs> I don't remember. At about that time, uh, you hear the scuffling of feet as the larger elderly elf woman comes walking back down towards their sniper plateau. It's been about half an hour of discussing plans and general resting up and Jackie getting far darker. <laughs> I don't know why, but... <laughs> darkness. Cast dark the woman cast darkness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um Finish. The <laughs> elvish woman uh, comes down. But first of all, uh, with that half an hour, you all have had time for a short rest. Um, so if you need to heal up, use mm. hit die for that, get spells, slots back, etc. You can do that. Um, but the woman comes down with the child behind and says, I think that's about enough time. I think you need to get out of here so I can continue my duties. It's been long enough without me on the perch. I would ask that you move on. And continue north. I'll watch and ensure that you go without any trouble. Um, before we before we leave, I have more of a personal question than anything. Your you speak Elvish, skills. correct? Yeah, I'm speaking Elvish. Okay, just making sure. Um, your aim is kind of magnificent is that a magical feat or something you've just attuned over the years i have practiced with the rangers of the spritewood for longer than most of you have been alive practice Impressive. in a steady hand hmm. that's really cool to know felt like asking uh i look at the kid you're in good hands. And I'm going to start walking away. The kid kind of like holds on to the older elf's uh, 
like the bottom of their tunic. Uh, you can tell this kid appears to be normal in what would be elf size for that age. Doesn't look like it is going to grow ginormous like the one next to it. Um, the woman, as you begin to walk away, says, I'm not the only one like me, so if... If you value your eyes where they are, I would recommend, as, yeah, Pepper holds up the flag, exactly. Keep that out, invisible, in front of you, not behind, when you walk to the north. Good call. Or she goes over and grabs another bundle of arrows. You can see, uh, as she reaches into her tent, she grabs, like, whole, uh, what would be, like, 20 arrows per bundle like you'd buy at a store. She grabs like six of them, uh, like sticking her fingers through the uh, twine that goes up and sets them over on the ledge of the sniper's perch there and pulls her stool up over towards the edge. The younger one does the same thing, but with their smaller bow and smaller set arrows to be nearby as she begins scanning the horizon. Though you can tell based on her position of her elvish ears she's kind of keeping one eye on you all though it is with her ear and not her eye um as i take a look at this teal fabric that's being shown um that we're carrying with us mm -hmm. ren's gonna rub their belly button ring and say fashion and a scarf of the same design is gonna wrap around ren and go down a little bit as it Blows down uh, like a cape in the wind briefly, a giant kind of flutter uh, as if doing a uh, flourish of the cape comes out as Ren is now drab in a very bright teal scarf. Hey, Ren, to, to, not to, to, to really sort of chastise your fashion sense, but how do we know this teal doesn't represent different things in different shapes? If you'd given us a scarf, maybe that means shoot us on sight? I look to the elf. Will this keep us safe? <laughs> Raise the cloth. They won't accept the scarf as protection. They will just assume that that was happenstance and coincidence. I'm still going to wear it because I think it looks very nice. You look wonderful, I'll, Ren. Thank you. How, how? I'll pull out a, 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 a small three-foot pole and tie the cloth to it. Hold it up in front. As you kind of Hold it up, uh, leaning it like one would a banner carrier. Um, being that you're small, a three foot looks, you know, the same height as you, uh, but it basically comes up to the top of Zania's head as uh, you hold it ready to march with it. As you're all kind of gathering your packs and getting ready to head north, you sense some hesitation based off of the trafficking and bad things you talked about in Kern from Celine of whether she would travel with you or not. Specifically, Zania, you keep seeing her with your passive perception looking off to the south, as that was the direction she was originally walking. As you all begin to walk down the mountain, she lags behind for a little bit. I, I gotta say, I, I just truly don't know if this is a good idea. I, I respect and would follow you, as obviously I was supposed to find you, Zania, but... I don't know if I was supposed to continue following or if just south is the way I should go. It's, you didn't paint the best picture, Ren, I gotta say. Well, he, Pepper wanted honesty and that's what I gave. I told you, Kern, like there's bad sides and good sides. I mean, the, the good sides outweigh the bad sides. And like I said, you know, the trafficking's not really for people like you. It's for people like me. To be honest, guys, I mean, my goal at the moment is to to find my sister. Um, we could probably do that with help from your people, Zinnia, perhaps? I don't... Uh, might be or your horrible. god, maybe her sisters? Maybe my god, yes. Um, I don't know, we haven't really... We've prayed before to keep you know, hunter safe, but to find, I'm not really sure. I can reach out. Selena and I can both reach out. But also, um, Celine, I don't, what, what do you feel like you should do? Do you like, 
if you were to meditate or pray or honestly i didn't know where i was heading to the south in the first place and it's it's a bit of a toss-up and i just don't know what to do essentially what's going on is if you're trying to convince celine to go with you you need to persuade her in some way to say that that's the best idea otherwise she's at a toss-up right now look I know it's hard to trust someone you just met, and Rin not only looks at Celine, but also Pepper. But this is your best bet of being able to get to where you want to go and to find who you want to find. If anyone knows how to do it, it's Marcus. And if there's any place that can get you to where you want to be faster, it's going to be Kern. If we stay in a group, we'll be fine. And I would like to do Persuasion. Okay. Is anyone wanting to aid Ren in some way by adding on to that? I don't think Hao would, just because Hao's kind of like a find your own path, and it sounds like she's on a pilgrimage. So I think Hao's going to, he's not going to interfere with what Ren's doing, but Hao's going to sit this one out. Okay. I feel like I'm one of the ones being persuaded, so I would be able to aid. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's up to Zania then if you want to aid her. If not, if your character really wouldn't, then you don't got to. I would let Nimbus decide. So I'm I'm persuading everyone. (laughs) (laughs) Go ahead and roll your persuasion then. Which is fair enough. That's a 28. 28. Okay, 28. I got a plus 10 to persuasion. That's a fair enough for (laughs) you. Sorcerers. Right. Uh, Celine, you're like, look, it's not you they're going to hunt in the first place. It's me. So I'll get you to where you want to go. It's going to be me, basically. Uh, There's so much good about Kern. Uh, And you basically describe what you've seen and what you kind of grew up around in there and the good people that live there that far outweigh the bad. Okay, fine. Uh, I I also was a bit worried about being a burden, I have to say. Uh, So if you don't mind me traveling with you for the time, at least until I can get where I need to go in Kern, then, then I will, if you'll let me. Oh, I wouldn't mind at all. And I think the people that you've already healed wouldn't mind either. I strongly agree. Speaking of, always welcome. Are you are you okay? Are you? We didn't get to stop for very long. Oh, I'm great. Okay. I uh, you know, just crack some bones back into place. I mean, I don't feel great, great, but I feel better than I did thirty minutes ago, and that's what matters. That's all we can ask for, I guess. In a 30 minute time period. Okay, I'll travel with you then. Um, thank you. I'll try and be a fly on the wall for the most part, but help where I can. Oh. Shall we? Shakur, lead the way, Ren. Okie dokie. And Ren pulls up the map. Right. So I think the best course of action, and I'm going to roll survival. <laughs> I'll guidance that. All right, and that's a plus... A D4. D4? Yep. And go! Awesome. That's plus four. Survival's plus four, so that's plus eight. Plus nine, so that is 17. 17, okay. When looking at the map, you basically see two routes that you could take. Mm -hmm. Technically three. The two routes that you originally think is, based on where you're at between Lake Tinderflow and the Colbrake Cliffs, you're basically going to head north. The two routes go, do you want to stop in Queenstown and take the road that follows all the way up and go to Kern, or do you want to try and avoid most cities and just go through the Queenswood to save probably a week's worth of travel by not having to go the long way around and having to stop all the way in? The technical third route would be to go through the Sprite Woods. You've heard legend. No. Not your favorite idea, but would no, save yeah. probably about two weeks worth of travel. Yeah, sorry, no. Rin wouldn't even bring up that option. Uh, so it's going to be the other two options that Rin's going to suggest uh, to the rest of the party. Rin has had enough of trees. 
Basically then, yeah, you can go through the roads that lead through Queenstown, up the crossroads, and follow the road, which by the way, let me just go ahead and put onto the chat. I gotta make it big again because for some reason it decided that it wanted to go away and not show up again for some reason, so uh, I gotta worry about that. Everyone's gonna see the map go crazy, but uh, you can roleplay the discussion while I get that set up. So we have two ways Stop we can the map. go. I'm trying to pay sorry, attention. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we have, we have two ways we can go. We can continue north and go by Queenstown, uh, which is a pretty big city. And then uh, we can go that way. Or we can, you know, go around here and completely avoid cities. This would be a little what bit faster route. Um, what about that way? That's going straight. Oh, you bastard. I wouldn't recommend it. Because Why not? Just, I'm trusting my gut on this one. I don't think that's a good way to go. But if that's the way you want to go, yes, it would save time. But I imagine that it would be a lot more detrimental to our health going this way. Why? Sprites are lovely. I've only ever heard good things about them in fairy tales. Help, very helpful creatures. <laughs> Sprite woods. Hold on, hold on. Why'd you put the map away? Can you bring it back up for a second? Oh, yeah. Ren, do that. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, buddy. I've had the map to... here the whole time. Why, why can't you see it? <laughs> okay, so I think we're missing a very potentially good option. I, I mean, I'm only from down under. What do I know, right? But can't we go across the water? Do you have a boat? I mean, does Queenstown have a boat? It's a pretty big city, I'm assuming so. And I was going to say, I I mean, it's been a while since I've just been somewhere and taken in the sights. And Queenstown would be nice to just stop, even if we had a day to just rest our feet. We've been going quick these past couple days. We just basically outworded a druid enclave and then gone up a sniper mountain. Going through Queenstown sounds like a... Nice occasion. Um, and if we want to get a boat, I mean, I'd chip some money towards a boat. I've never been on one before. I'm sure we can get passage or something, right? What's Queenstown like? Never uh, roll me a history, Ren, because you... Actually, Pepper, um, being that Salt was in the circus, might have traveled there once as well. Oh, nice. History... Oh, it's a plus zero, oh. but it's an 18. 18. I mean, may have, but I don't remember. Very low. Yeah, like a five. Ah, solid. Yeah, uh, so Ren, you've had to travel through Queenstown to get to the south. You stayed there for quite a bit of time. If you were to think the traditional Middle Ages, this is the traditional Middle Ages. Knights on horses, peasants shoveling hay. This is England, if there ever were one. England with a queen. England with a queen who rules with an iron fist. No one questions the queen. To say anything detrimental to the queen is either jail or beheading. That has caused quite a bit of near fandom worship uh, of the queen, whether through actual desire uh, or through fear. No one has tried to overthrow the queen in many years, any rebellion that might have happened has been since quelched, and any talk of it has been burnt out. That being said, it is one of the most prosperous nations around. They have some of, if not the best, cavalry in the world, and you cannot find a finer horse than you could find in Queenstown. So, I probably wouldn't recommend it for this group. Um knowing the shenanigans y'all get into uh because this is definitely a place where rules are law and well they don't take kindly to things that you know don't go their way but if we need to go and ren's gonna pull out a picture and look at it i do have and then ren rubs their belly and says fashion and ren is going to change into isabella uh, a human form a human female. Oh, it's hard to watch every time. As 
the skin bubbles very quickly going from the same color elvish skin tone it kind of bubbles up very polyjuice potion turns gray and then back to human skin flesh I mean it's a little interesting Zinnia trying to be a little nice <laughs> it's not so right. bad yeah so Isabella was a guard I met there well <laughs> Um, yeah. Well, what? Don't worry about it. Let's go. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. Last time we didn't worry about it. it. Do you see what happened back in the forest? No, 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 no. We're worrying we a, about it. We, we, we had a fling and... Wait, you had a fling as as her? No, with her. That's Rin kind of like zones like out. <laughs> as as Hal's walking away with Pepper, uh, How How daps up uh, Is- Isabel and goes, "You <laughs> sly dog." <laughs> Robert has I, I many look, questions. I sort of looked at How and said, I "Go." It's not the words I would have used. <laughs> Robert has many a questions, and as you begin to draw, he says, wait, actually, uh, to that, so does that mean the elf boy uh, also, you, did you had relations with them, and, and possibly the Leonin that you were? Is that something that you have to do? You have to just sleep around? Right. <laughs> Let's just... Remember when we talked about whenever I do no, this, that's a th- question that's yeah. a little too far? <laughs> no, but I didn't know if that was just how it worked. I- I'm curious, and I mean no, no. offense, of course. I obviously... Right. Robert, no. I don't, I don't have to... No, I don't have to bed these people. I didn't know. I no, apologize. He chooses to. They choose to. So you could look like me, then? I mean, I could. It's... It's really people that I have had relationships with in the so, past and so not necessarily was. not necessarily in a sexual variety robert no it's that's not like I mean. any kind of relationship okay. i've had with someone i can i can i have to know the people before hmm. like i can crudely do things and rin just stops and turns into pepper Duh. Rin, wh- take that back get out of that get out of it no. Wait. wait, wait, do me, do me. Okay, hold on. And uh, in in this pepper form, Rin <laughs> looks at Zinnia pretty hard and gets a good stare and then... Rose like Zinnia. four feet taller. <laughs> I walk around. Well, oh, so that's what I look like from the back. Interesting. Rin cracks their back like, oh, God. <laughs> Going from different sizes really hurts. Zinnia, wow. Are you looking at your own butt? I mean, I've never seen myself from behind. High five. Thickums. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're saying that this conversation is happening as you all are walking and moving mm-hmm. to the north. Yeah. Where, then, is the plan? You have a bit of time, if overnight, etc., you want to decide if you're going to stop into Queenstown, or is the idea that... And follow the roads, or is the idea that you're going to go through the Queenswood? I never thought I got a definitive <laughs> answer, and maybe it's because I didn't. We're looking for a boat. Going to look Queenstown, at the boat in Queenstown. Okay. Make Verity. Oh, Verity. So when you said Ren only changes into people they know. <laughs> oh, no. The next part. Uh-oh. That's Asterian's ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's America. That's Asterian's ass. I love it. <laughs> You never thought you'd get a <laughs> Avengers I'm Infinity D. Honored. <laughs> honored. Really, truly, Zania is the Captain America of the group. And Thor, because of the powers. Yeah. Oh. Mm. The Thor, I'll the strongest glad. Avenger. I'd like to think how is Deadpool then. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Pepper, I'm I'm getting major Hawkeye vibes. Oh. None of this makes sense. I'm here <laughs> with a dagger <laughs> fighting gods. <laughs> I'm not really a superhero. All my friends are, though. Yeah. 
I have a little Ooh. cabin. Uh, I think we're going to Queenstown. Okay. Because that's the route that was a week faster, right? Uh, so, no. Uh, go Depends. If you're doing the boat route, possibly, if you find a boat. Uh, otherwise, going to Queenstown and following the road would be the slowest route because you'd follow up to the crossroads and go around the gotcha. main public roads. Because we want to go to Royal Bay, correct? Okay, just make a jerk. Right, with that, you're going to walk for a solid little bit, uh, going from where you're at, the dense forest, down by the mountains that lead up to an entirely new nation. Up until this point, and besides Novigrad, you all have only ever traveled from one nation to another, from the Scorch to Elfinvale, and you've been in Elfinvale for quite a while. Uh, the Corocrucians, where you were with Novigrad, you really kind of just stayed in the one town there. Uh, but now you're actually leaving Elfinvale for the first time. Based on where you're at, it's probably going to take four days of solid travel to get to Queenstown where you're at. Unless y'all are willing to hoof it if you're trying to get there even faster, then you could probably get there in two or three days, but you're going to be exhausted when you get to Queenstown. How fast do you want to march? Can you add legs? No. I can only do the same amount of appendages like i couldn't grow wings or tail or okay i might be able to do a tail i've never tried though Wait, so you did a, you did, a, you did a pepper without a tail and a zinnia without a tail mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i mean that would require me growing bones that i don't have is that the weird part i mean you can change every other aspect. I gotta say, I've never that tried. Was not on we'll give it. A, we'll give it a go sometime. How about that? At what speed do y'all want to march? I'd say fairly quick. Not exhausting. Okay, so yeah, plan to try and get to Queenstown in about four days is the plan. With that, out of genuine curiosity, Ren seems to be leading the group. What's the order for everybody else? I'm right behind Ryan, keeping an eye on him. Celine will follow wherever Zania is, conversing, talking about Nimbus and various, you know, Thundercat things. I was going to say that. Robert yeah, will probably be... stick in the middle. How's going to go behind everybody, just basically like ready to <laughs> cast darkness or illusions? He's just like kind of watching over everyone. So if something happens from either side, he can just kind of huddle over everyone and get stuff going. Um, he's going to mostly be talking to chat and stuff, um, just like responding to random inquiries out loud. I need everybody to roll me a perception check. Perception. Can I use guidance? <laughs> Ooh, 18 with my plus four. Oh, wait, I have disadvantage. That's still good, though. I got a 19 and a 15. Um, okay. With a plus I four. I want Jakey's so dice. <laughs> Pepper got low. Zinnia? 16. I got one. That's great. Ooh. Robert and Celine did Pepper not do terribly Pepper falls down great. the cliff. What? what? I got 21 <laughs> total as a guidance. Hey, there we go. So as you're walking, the rest of the group is conversing on their merry way moving through next to the mountains here. Ren and Pepper arguing about which way to go. Robert, Zania, Celine, kind of generally speaking religion. Celine very much like, so do you actually, what, what is it like? What's it like living beneath and just etc. Um, how you're not necessarily walking with someone the entire time. You're more watching over the party. As such, that gives you a little bit more freedom to look around. And as you're all walking, you notice a few figures in the mountains to the left in perches very similar to what you saw before. You see one off in the distance as the sun begins to set on your first day, looks over and begins to pull up a weapon before getting a better look and stowing the weapon away. Yeah, Seems... I do that thing where basically the second I see them draw a weapon, I kind of like snap, look at me, and then I point at Pepper wearing the scarf thing, being like, hey, over there, we've got pass. As uh, Pepper, you're told, you, you then immediately start waving the flag uh, before you see the figure disappear and fade off 
behind the sniper's nest. Good thing that you all have that cloth. You see figures like this several times throughout your day's travels through these mountains. This is a very heavily guarded pass here. The first two nights are pretty uneventful. You make camp there at the foot of one mountain, uh, no real problems. The second time you find a small cave uh, that seems to have once been lived in by some goblins or other creatures, but been deserted for weeks at this point. Cobwebs are starting to grow over whatever logs they felled to sit upon, and you deem it safe enough to stand or to sleep in there for the night. As you're all getting ready for the next morning and your third day of travel, can How add cool rock to his inventory? Yeah, you want to add a pet rock? Yeah, uh, basically when How was responding to chat, everything people said, uh, How said, basically said out loud that uh, I really like rice. Rice is never disappointing. Um, and then he picks up, he like kind of shuffles through and picks up a cool rock and just adds it to his little bag. He's just like, huh, okay. Roll a con saving throw. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll do it, coward. That's a whole seven. Oh, yeah. No, you die then. <laughs> oh, wow. The cool Wait. rock was actually a cool Glock. Boom. <laughs> you 10 episodes, Ryan, where you can't be killed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm just trying to help, help myself out here. Um, <laughs> as you're all gathering your packs for the next morning, uh, getting ready to try and make your way through the last bit of the mountain area, how, with your general perception and being the kind of lookout for the group, you see a small figure approaching from behind where you all just came from this morning, uh, seeming to be at a jog's pace running towards you. The sun is just rising and it's hidden behind the cliffs. It is hard to see, but as it gets closer, uh, you start to notice it looks like the small elvish girl from the sniper's nest. Does this look like, hey, I'm delivering something to you, Jog, or I'm in trouble, help me? Right? Not, uh, I'm all out sprint, help me, Jog. I'm delivering something kind of Jog. Or the, uh, I'm gonna kill you, Jog? How's gonna you know, do one of those, same. like, put his hand hand in his mouth, do a quick loud whistle, so people, like, kind of turn around, and then how's gonna, like, walk towards or just be like, he's not, like, getting anyone to stop, but I'm just like, hey, by the way, I'm just checking what's going on here, and I'll catch up. Um, and then I'll use a quick sending to Zinnia. Just be like, just keep an eye in case something happens. The, I'll relay information. The young girl no. runs up before. <sighs> Sorry. Hey, kid. <sighs> she takes a sip uh, from a water skin. <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I ran as fast as I could to get here. Breathe, but... you're good. Redwood wanted me to deliver a message. Thinks that you're being uh, stalked by something or someone at night. Uh, she could barely get a glimpse on it. And that's not like her. She can follow most things. It's staying at a distance, but it's following you. There, we seem to be finding trails. You're leaving with six footsteps, but we keep finding uh, footsteps of seven since I've been following. I, I don't know what that is or what that means, but if you're not aware, you should be. I walked here alone and nothing happened to me, though I have the guardianship of the rangers on the rocks, but just something to be watching out for. Wow, the rangers on the rocks. That sounds so badass. It do. Ren um, says. <laughs> it's currently just talking How's to How. How dare you? <laughs> How's gonna take a second and just be like, I'm just gonna do something for security. Just, I need you to trust me. I'm gonna flick up my my copper piece, and as it spins in the air, uh, and I catch it, I'm gonna use detect thoughts. I want to see if this kid is the kid. Um, just surface surface level thoughts. I just want to hear of like a hello. I'm conversing with you because if this if it's thinking anything other than that, I'm gonna know. But okay, uh, you immediately enter the creature's thoughts. You get some pushback uh, as if they have been prepared for attacks like this of the mind. However, their surface thoughts are still available to you as you essentially hear like, 
why does he have to do this? I've been nothing but honest to him. I don't get, I don't get the necessity. We let them walk through. They just listen to me before in her own voice. She's like, just listen. I'm not lying to you. I know what you're doing. I'm me. And she allows you to search freely if needed. I think that's more than enough for how I'm, I know. I, you just never know. You are, you seem like a good kid, and I think if we're being stalked by something that can hide in plain sight, it would play on sympathy. Tell Redwood, Fair enough. I am very thankful for their warning, and uh, we'll keep an eye out. I'll set up uh, a more strict alarm over the evening. Um, you take care, kid. You as well. Just follow the footsteps, I'm sure. It knows that you know now if I came up and spoke. Just tread carefully through these woods. Um, How's going to take a moment, like almost like Witcher sense style, using the remainder of Detect Thoughts? Um, I just want to see the range on Detect Thoughts, Mm because if there's anything I can pick up. I think I have to see whoever it is, because I know it's just a thing that lasts on me for 10 minutes. Um, Or a minute, but... uh, Oh, it's 30 feet. Yeah, I guess I'm going to bounce from party member to party member, and then I'm just going to look through the tree line if there's anything within 30 feet of me. I didn't realize it was that far. Okay, sounds good. You uh, come back to the party as the young one walks off, seeming to go up the mountains as if going to stay with another ranger for a bit rather than make the trip back, seeing that they were very tired, very sweaty, as if they've been going at a hefty pace to get to you. Um. When you return to the party, you get the surface thoughts of everyone. First, uh, Robert basically is, oh, I don't know why, but I just always hate the mornings. It's just, it's the do what gets between the scales. Uh, before uh, going to Celine, uh, she's just like, huh, you know, really, uh, really should have taken this path. I took the rapids before. This is way better. Just thinking about the path that they're going upon. Uh, And the surface thoughts, uh, without anything terribly deep from every other party member. Zania, Ren, Pepper, what you thinking? (laughs) Sorry, I was waiting for someone else to go. You hear hear nothing. You don't worry. (laughs) Sorry. She's just like, oh, mornings, I'm... I've only been forced to be a morning person because we had to go hunting. And she's just thinking back to... Uh, the sunset mountains and waking up early there in the fresh morning air and because Selene is triggering all these thoughts of her family and so and so. Ren would be thinking shit what am I going to tell her? I told her I had to leave. She was really mad that I had to leave and now we're going back and huh. Cheese is really tasty too. <laughs> Pepper. Quick, quick. <laughs> they say that a picture quick, says quick. a thousand words. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Love it. How you get the surface thoughts of everyone around you, but you don't hear anything else, which is calming to you. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, let's huddle up for a sec and talk quietly. Uh, yeah. Okay. So once we get close. The Redwood sent the kid. Uh, it seems like while we're traveling, there's six st- sets of footprints, but there's now seven. I think we're being followed, and that's Redwood's words. But whatever it is, it seems the rangers aren't getting a beat on it. So I think tonight I'm going to set up a tighter alarm. Just we all sleep side by side and make this alarm much smaller than I normally do. And I think we get cozy for a bit. And just make sure if anyone goes on bathroom breaks, whatever, we just always let someone know <gasps> who you are. But how far system. behind us do you think they are? I think behind us isn't the th- question. I think it's where are they right now within our reach? I think they could be beside us or ahead of us even. Whatever is following us, it's it could be dangerous or could be watching. But on that note, um, so so hard on not to say. Maybe then instead of just traversing, we look for a place 
that would be suitable for us to defend if we need to? I mean, that's not a terrible idea, but I think this will help. Uh, I'm going to open my book because I still have, because it's my charisma mod, so I still have two more names I can put in my book to use sending to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get Pepper and Ren to sign my book so that I can basically on, at will cast sending to now everyone in the party, aside from Selene. You, so, so you want my signature? It lets me basically speak to you from any plane. If you get away, I can talk to you and keep tabs on you. It's how I communicate uh, with Zinnia. Um, okay. It's not a blood pact. Don't worry. Um, and I do a cross. An X. How you look down at the signature, then up at Pepper, and back down at it. Do you try it? Yeah, I'm going to try and see what happens. Like, if I quit sending, be like, can you hear me? Pepper, do you hear anything? Oh, let's have a roll. Fuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck are you? What are you doing? Why am I talking to you? What's going on? Hello? It's me. Hi, me? Who are you? Who's me? No, no, I'm oh, me. No. What? How, how? No, no, did you just say how, how twice? I mean, how, how, how is it me or how's it you? Mm -hmm. Salt? Who? Yes? Who? Me? Noted. I pat Pepper on the shoulder. It works. And I go to Ren to sign <laughs> the book. Okay. Really fancy signature, too. Just all, all up in there. Does it change every time you do it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what signing and changeling blood does to paper. Ooh. We'll never That's know. It's not a blood signature. It's just out. them willingly putting their name down. Yeah, I, I know, but I like wonder. Fully... No, oh, yeah, you, you don't, because it's not going to happen. Um, Hal's going to do a quick test. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, you guys won't be able to hear each other, but... You'll all be able to hear me, so as long as I'm with one of you, we'll be able to fully stay in touch. So the buddy system. Yeah. What's that? It's where two two people like if you have to go somewhere, it's two people. So that way, if yeah. something happens to one of them, the other can let people know. Oh, I didn't know there was a term for that. Uh huh. Yeah. It's, it, I mean, there's different terms for it, but like, that's, that's a biggie in Kern. Like you never, and then Ren just stops <laughs> after looking at Celine. Who, who wants to like be my brother? Uh... I'll be your buddy. Okay. <gasps> Goes for a high five. <laughs> right. I take it Celine and Dania want to be buddies. That sounds great. I'd like to be. Yeah. No. Um, so that works. Okay. That leaves you and me, Buckaroo. And I pat Pepper on the shoulder again, and I start walking. As How begins heading north again, are we still headed towards Queenstown? Yeah. Beautiful. So. Also, you have a this time, I think instead of talking to chat, uh, how's gonna how's gonna shoot the shit with Pepper and Undercommon? Solid. Pepper, it's been a long time since you've gotten to talk Undercommon, especially as Pepper. Mostly, it was just something that you and your sister did uh, as a way to communicate within the circus without other people knowing what you're saying. But being able to speak with somebody else, it's great. How seems like he has a bit of an accent for your taste. Uh, it's kind of hard to understand compared to the down under version of Undercommon that you know, but feels nice. What you need to do, though, is release the nasal passages a bit more. You're speaking about the down under. I'm speaking from the under. All right, it's the, <laughs> you the almost said under world? down, didn't you? <laughs> I, no, I almost said the, the underdark, but then I just realized I was like, wait, is there an underdark in this world? It's still called the underdark. It's just referred okay, then, yeah. to it as that. Though it's not okay. like 
the traditional Forgotten Realms Underdark. Okay, so the Down Under is the Underdark. Yeah, basically any sort of uh, ratfolk e tunner, a tunnel, or anywhere that the Drow live is just referred to as the Underdark, even though that's not the same cool. place as Forgotten Realms Underdark. Oh, some people refer to it as the Underdark. Down Under for we others. Down Under. <laughs> Honestly, I prefer Down Under. That makes it sound more fun and pleasant yeah it's just, it's just that, that you, you're getting there it's just that, that nasal piece where oh. did those wind chimes come from yeah, that was gorgeous a warning sign from the Sylvan? forest the alarm <laughs> check the alarm <laughs> as you all continue to Someone's walk need you all to roll a perception for me one more time go dice I don't do perception 19 19 for today 19 as well Nine. Nine. How? Nine. You don't want to roll, Drew? How? I already rolled. And that's Jakey. How? Which, sorry? <laughs> Perception. <laughs> sorry. Roll. No, you're good. You're oh. totally good. Uh, two, 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 disadvantage. Still 12. Uh, so 15 total. Robert got it. Two. What was yours one more time, Red? uh nine okay sounds good uh as you all continue walking pull up the map one more time just for reference here you basically are at the very end of the coal break cliffs and where that gray mountain is on the right side of it it causes kind of a upper plateau area that kind of leans down before you can see the valley below you've had to go a little bit slower because of the rocky terrain so that's what's kind of held you up here as it's kind of getting towards nighttime, you're certain that though there is a long way to go in a flat terrain to Queenstown, you can get there by the end of the next day. However, Pepper and Zania, on the end of this plateau, you see a figure sitting down on the edge of the cliff that leads right maybe 150 feet off from the road. Probably not anything you even have to interact with if you just continue on the road that now leads downward before it is into the valley that leads to Queenstown. But you see a figure off to the right with another one laying in the grass nearby. Figure is larger, very bulky, uh, but you can only kind of see the silhouette as the sun is not quite at sunset, but it's nearly there. Guys, there's someone over there. Pepper, you see that? Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I'm a little scarred. Last time we saw someone across the way, they shot us with arrows. Uh, yeah. Should we go around, or should we approach them without them seeing us? We're, they're too far to tell, like, the size. How I go? Uh, they're about 150 feet away. They're large. They definitely have the bearing of like an orc or something. But again, because the sun's like in your eye, it's kind of hard to see. An orc. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, uh, so it doesn't look like one of the elves. No, I don't know. If orcs. I don't know. It might be an orc. If orcs are rangers. You got the <sighs> fuzzy electricity again, by the way. I am. Nimbus, Nimbus is coming through my voice, you know? Yeah, me? exactly. Such a good method, RP <laughs> Um, Now that this, like, individual has pointed out, so we're walking on, like, a kind of, like, like rocky plateau path kind of thing? Yeah, Are because you're in between elevated? two mountains. So you're not on the yeah. mountains, but you're in between. And so you're basically hmm. on the edge of not of a cliff, but, like, an upper plateau area before there is now going to be a rocky path that leads downwards into the flat valley that is before Queenstown. And does this individual that Zinnia pointed out, does it look like they're looking for something? They're just kind of on watch? Like, what is the... It looks the like stance, they're just like... sitting and looking out over the valley in which you're all headed. I mean, there's no harm in... There's no harm in going forward. It seems like someone could just be having their lunch on watch, and if they do anything hostile, we react. Zinnia, did you drop something? Zinnia took a quick trip to the Down Under. <laughs> I'm still adjusting. Oh, fair enough. I'm down for whatever. They seem fine. 
I don't know. Robert pulls out his spear. Just in case. What's the plan? What are we doing? If this is their territory, I don't want to sneak up on them. So. Yeah, I think just Can like just usual, wave like, the conversation. wave the flag thing. Yeah. Wave to the person. Wave the little scarf. I think. Yeah, once they start blowing horns and stuff, I think that's when we react. But the more inconspicuous we act, the more they'll probably act threatening. So I think if we're just like, hey, we're just passing. What's up? Okay. The group continues along the now dirt pathway that leads off of this plateau and goes downwards towards the valley. Being that you specifically said you're trying to, you know, do, 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 we're not doing anything, kind of go down the road there. Does anybody at all look back at the person or try and keep your head aimed forward? I'm going to keep an eye on them. Okay. Go ahead and roll me another yeah. perception. I'm Anybody still, who like, at the takes back a look. Kind of thing. Yeah, I'm going to still be in the back doing the same thing I was in prior. 17. Uh, 16. I heard that dice tower. <laughs> with the dice with no numbers. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 16 and 17. As you pass onto the other side, no longer being blocked by the soon setting sun, uh, you turn back and you see what's not an orc, but an incredibly, I guess, thick set or burly man. Uh, a large belly to mimic the large beard, arms as wide as an orc's, uh, but big cauliflower-esque ears, a crooked, bent, and broken nose you can kind of see. And you also see two arrows sticking out of his gut. He is currently alive, still breathing, but you can see as he, <gasps> he's got kind of labored breath, you can see in the sun behind. He's a ways away now as he sits elevated above you, looking off towards the valley. Oh, no. Do, do we recognize those arrows? Uh, you'd have to get way closer. You're about 150 feet off from it. Are they big arrows compared to his body, though? No. Wouldn't say that. Should we check on them or just keep walking? I don't know. Kind... This feels a little on the nose. I kind of want to help him, but I also don't know what he's capable of or why he was attacked. Um, is I, he was not oh. here when I came before? Maybe let's send two or three of us up. Rest stay on the. Mm, I don't think we should fully split. Wait, was we that Celine? All... Yeah. Wait, you've been this way, Celine? This I had to come to the south to make it to. The Ironwood Forest, and I right when I got into the forest is when I met all of you. Yeah, I've, I've come through this but way. Didn't you take the rapid path? Yeah. I mean, like, to the top of the mountains. This is where it splits. Oh. Uh, sorry. No, no, no. No problem. How's got me on edge with people creeping behind us? But how long ago was that? Uh, Had to have been a week at this point. Yeah, I mean, a lot can happen in a week. Of course. <laughs> Let me tell you about that one day. <laughs> let's just give him a quick nod walk up check on him and walk away if anything feels uncomfortable i agree i can if do we all want to walk up to just a few of us if i go with someone or someone goes like if we go in a group i can i can step us away like that if we're worried about someone like ren or pepper them getting the jump on them no offense, it's just I feel like Zinnia could handle her own out of all of us. You and I can go together and you can step us out of there. Okay. Let's all go together. Yeah. Let's just not swarm them. Make sure, you know, hands out of pockets, that kind of thing. As you all walk back up the path to where you're now on the plateau, Going over towards him, the path and the plateau kind of split to where he's basically on the edge of a cliff at this point, though not tall and not a steep one. It goes to where you could walk down it, but you'd very much be kind of precarious as walking down it, but you wouldn't take damage even if you rolled all the way down it. He's sitting there, and as you all approach, from a distance, you kind of, 
wave at him, but he doesn't seem to really notice or care. Now that you get a little bit closer, you see that other body that was laying in the grass nearby him. Once you can see a little bit more, there's a spear sticking through the mouth of the other man who lays in the ground, the head of it sticking out the lower back of it as if skewered like a boar from a spear. There's a blood trail that leads nearby on the edge of this plateau from and away from the man sitting on the edge. You're about 50 feet away at this point. I look to everyone. Should we let, should we, uh, let him know we're here? You probably want to run over there if you're going to make sure he's alive by the time we get well, this in here. Here, wait. And Rin takes out a wire piece of copper. Or a piece of wire co- or copper wire. There we go. Wired yeah. copper. Words are hard. And I use message to talk to this person. You're thinking of the spell components for sending, by the way. Message you just do. <gasps> but then if you I want do. to have that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Are you alive? I uh, am alive. So you coming. No, that is the component. It's a piece of copper wire. Yeah, for me. Oh, is it the same for wire. that and sending? Oh, neat. How about yep. Look at me go. I'm done. It's okay. Um, yeah. Um, hey, I'm alive. Who hurt you? The man what I stuck with the skewer. <clears throat> Are you one of the rangers of the rock? No, no. Just, uh, just a horseman, stable master of Queenston. Were they a ranger of the rock? No, just, just my brother. Oh, I relay this information to the group. I sort of look at Ren and look back and go, "He's fifty feet away." Yeah, but it's still... You and know, then grabs his hand and start pulling it towards him. Yeah, as soon as I get the info, I, I go forward. And I will... Hey, I'll... <laughs> I'm just going to um, send, like, a sending to everyone. Just be like, I'm getting a bad vibe right now. Just be ready. Something doesn't feel right. I'll stay in the back. I can fireball from there. There's trees nearby if you need to. Well, sorry, trees. (laughs) I'm going to go up to um, the man, and I'm going to go, but still pay attention to my surroundings. Hi, I'm Zunia, cleric of Nimbus. May I heal you? He looks up to you, and the best descriptor you can give for this man is ugly. His features combine to be the most unfortunate combination of features you've seen. His nose is as big as, in the real world, like a tennis ball, but a croquet ball uh, at the time. His ears cauliflowered from many a fights. His nose is crooked and broken. Few teeth, his smile odd, his cleft in lip, his Beardish hair is mangled and unkempt as he looks at you as it goes down. He has what appear to be half dwarvish, half human features. <laughs> Jakey. <laughs> Jakey said, Thanks for inserting me into the campaign. <laughs> you know that's not true. He is stocky and as wide as an orc, which is kind of the dwarvish features, but he's as tall as a man. It's an unfortunate combination. Doesn't look very good. As the arrows stick out of his gut, he looks up at you as you ask to heal. He says, Oh no, I'm dying. Just, just let me. I, I can stop that easily. I can't go back now. I did what I've done. I gotta live with it. Well, for how very few I have. That was your brother, you said? I was. Take a look at the body on the ground. Uh, Roll a investigation for anybody that's up there. I'm going to guidance Zinnia while 
We do. I'm it's how buddy, stuck on the a... wall was brother? Because usually when someone passes, it's still like, yeah, my brother passed away. But saying like that was my brother is like how we'll remember this appears in the top right corner. <laughs> uh, 17? 17. 21. 21. Zinnia looks to be human male. Nothing out of the ordinary. Pepper, however, you've traveled in the circus. You've seen quite a few faces. His is very fair. Very handsome looking man. Hair kempt besides the spear that is rammed down his throat. Would have been Quite a looker. Related? Well, it's my brother. That's what I said. He kind of keeps staring off over the plateau into the valley. What happened between you two? I finally found... found me a girl. And... Thought, thought she liked me back. Planned to marry her. But brother doesn't want me to have anything. Nothing nice, nothing good. Ma and Pa always gave him the best treatments. Because he was pretty, you see, in his face, but not, not me. And he went and asked her first. He knew. But I wanted, he knew that she'd say yes to me. She was kind like that. But it's hard to say no to him. Pretty face. He's, he took the last thing he'll ever take from me. Now I'm to die. Rightfully so, I'd say. Can I? insight check quick just like yeah absolutely I feel like I, based on ribo's own performance roses for that because i believe you but also you. don't doppelganger but i'm a mad liar <laughs> <laughs> uh 19 appears to be pretty genuine uh, as he speaks he, he speaks like a working man a hard man that just gives the facts not really Anybody who dallies between Vince's words. So why not stay alive for her? No, she'll never take me back now. I wouldn't want her to. She deserves more. Really, she does, but... That's not for you to decide. That's for her to decide, no? I think who I am to marry is partly for me to decide. Well, I agree. You do get to decide who you marry. But but I think if this individual cares about you, you're making the choice for them that they don't have a future with you. I just say it's something to think about. I thought long and hard on it. That's why I'm here. I don't want to see anything else again. I I just want to die here on the plateau. I don't want to see the sunset yeah, one the, more time. That's the easy option, isn't it, buddy? Jeez. You make the hard decision, you deal with it, and then you just walk away? Wow, you're a man. Kind of sizes you up and looks you down. You so I'm prettier than you. Yeah, but at least I fight my demons, don't I? I don't run away in death. I think I killed my demon, little rat. I think you're pleased. killing your other demon too, aren't you? Easier to run away than it is to face, face her now and let her make her own decision. You can roll an intimidation or a persuasion. If you'd like me to, sure. Unless you're just trying to actively poke a dying man. I'm just thinking, <laughs> you're an idiot, man. Sounds like Come something on. Pepper would do. Come on, mate. Get get the fuck up. Um, That's a 17. 17. He says, Didn't ask for your opinion. Didn't even wave you over. Run along, little rat. Yeah, and yet we are here. Maybe this is all I'm playing. Not mine. 
Pokemon. Yeah, and I'm sure the your brother's plan wasn't definitely this at all either. Sure, it wasn't. Um, I want to try something because there's a there's a spell combo I can do. I'm gonna use another detect thoughts. How's gonna toss his coin up in the air? But when the coin lands, the coin is gonna turn into one of those th encode thought threads. Can this guy roll a wisdom save for me? Sure. Are you doing it sneakily? Um, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say I'm doing it sneaky. Basically, how yeah. wants to go into this guy's thoughts and pull a memory because you can use detect thoughts and encode thoughts together, so I can turn someone else's memories into strands. You uh have advantage on your sleight of hand since <laughs> Pepper is currently actively poking him. Ooh, well, the first roll is a 19, so sleight of hand plus 6, that's a 25, or can't, no nat 20, but a 25. Absolutely, he is caught up in this conversation. Not going to notice you do this at all. Looking at his surface thoughts, and by the way, you can't, or are you actively trying to prod deeper, you said? I'm going to prod deeper so he has to make the save. I'm, yeah. I don't know how spells <laughs> he got work if you have no idea low. it's there. He got yeah. very low. So how with encode thoughts is how is going to make a strand of memory that is all of the times he's been in public he's heard whispers and shouts and at the very end of the memory he's going to hear everything she has said about him all the conversations they've had so it's kind of like a just remember the world is terrible but there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it is this person and i'm going to make like tangible like anything not because how wants to save this guy but how either it's if he dies, at least he'll die with a good memory in his hands or give him a chance for that. And then um, how's going to take this thread and wrap it around, like, like lift his hand gently and just tie it around his wrist and say, pinch that. Just listen to it. I don't think we can do much here, guys. It's up to him. Yeah, we've got other things to do, guys. <laughs> with that, Rin, Rin 60 feet away. And Rin sends a message to How. Fireball. Really. How's things going? <laughs> um, responding to message. It's going pretty good. It's just uh, he's dying and wants to be left alone. I can make that. In the... <laughs> and Rin stops. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't. <laughs> As that's uh... all I send on my twenty-five word messages. Don't. <laughs> With because I can use sending now. <laughs> With the memory that you put in his hands, as he pinches it and does what you say. Pepper, you see a tear, one single one, again, kind of a hardened man trying not to show, even in death, emotion. One tear fall from his face. If you'd like to attempt again to convince him otherwise, you could have advantage on this. I'm going to look at him. You don't have to. I'm going to whisper under my breath a very uh, well-known down under term. I will go, Baka, turn around and walk away. Did you say Baka? I did. <laughs> GFI, you absolutely <laughs> earned one. Because I used a spell, could I potentially roll for Gits and Shigs? Up I was to not going to say anything after, but I kind of, I kind of wanted. Uh, oh, Zania is raising their hand like they're going to do a thing. Uh, oh no, I don't know. I keep on going. I had a question afterwards. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. Um, also, since I'm... you're having seen and you saw all his thoughts and everything that's happened here, through all of your oh, talk yeah. and everything that he says otherwise, you hear, please don't go. I Her? hope they don't go. I'm scared. I don't want to be here alone. Please don't go. His words how, seem to say otherwise, but his thoughts. How stops? And um, while Pepper's walking, How's gonna grab Zania's arm, and How is now like physically like, like really anxious because like a lot of this How is just like holy shit, been there. Um, <laughs> Zania, whatever he says, heal him. Trust me. Okay. Do you whisper that? Yeah, I'm... Yeah, yeah and then how is going to turn around? 
Um, and uh, How's just going to walk up to him and kneel in front of him. I'm going to use my last spell slot for the day to cast Sending so that only he hears this. Hasn't that they just started there? It's been a new day. Uh, yeah, you've been traveling for I like only have three two, days. I only have he's two a spell warlock. slots. Yeah. I'm a warlock. Oh, in an hour I get all of my spells back, but I only get two a day. <laughs> um, but how says, only you can hear this. Or, only you can hear this. I'm not leaving. Even if you're a stubborn shit. Breathe. Let my friend help you. And the last five words I won't use. And the last five words I won't use. <laughs> <laughs> and the last five words. Oh, dang, I didn't get the last part. <laughs> As you send to him, he looks up at you with kind of a quizzical look across his one long eyebrow. You hear back. I don't know what you are or how you're doing what you're doing. But you don't have to stay, and I don't want your healing. But if you want to stay, I won't stop you. I know. Hal says that out loud. Um... And pooling from how with minor illusion as the flavor from this, um, it's just going to be the whispers of her as a comforting thing, like just starting to spiral like those like shadows of chatter that spread. They're just going to pool around on the ground and surround him. Um, if he doesn't want to be healed, he's still just going to have little like because how like now has a full minute to just go through his memories and stuff and just like little orbs and things are going to stem from how of just like memories fluttering from how like bubbles and they just like pop and vanish. Um, and how facing away from the party, cause how still like, even though the party knows what his face looks like, isn't as comfortable with that. How's it's going to plant his mask in the ground beside him. As all of these images of this woman that you saw before, now all of you can see a female woman, plain of face, uh, kind of, Scraggly blonde hair goes down maybe to about her waist, very long, uh, wearing a traditional kind of, uh, not barmaid, but like a, a farmer's uh, kind of outfit. Um, I, milkmaid I, is the best descriptor. I guess somebody who goes to milk the cows typically every morning. A very long, flowy dress, lots of pockets for like eggs and things like that. Um, but kind of sweet you're not sure if this is how she actually looks but she seems to glow in the face and maybe that's just his memory of her but she stands around him and looks at him but as she peers over him and looks down at him sweetly he covers his face from her and kind of hides please put her away I don't want her seeing me like this she can't see you. This is how you see her. If you won't go see her and let her see you in your final moments, at least you can see her as she was. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, by this stage, Ryan, I'm. Yep. I've just caught up to Ren. About 60 foot away. So tell me, is Fireball the answer to most things? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Well, Any other suggestions and things you can, you know, in a, in a dangerous situation, what else would you do? Um, probably run away. Gotcha. I don't Does that really... mean you have like run away? <laughs> I mean, I can do smaller fireballs, like little fire bolts, if you will. But that's about it. Most of the stuff I do is just purely, I don't know. Fireballs. 
Well, no, it's just uh, the the other things I can do would uh, I don't know. They're just more helpful things. But when it comes down to protecting yourself, you can't say that a fireball doesn't hurt. At least Wait, you me. can't say it does hurt. <laughs> At least it wouldn't hurt me. As the uh kind of like sad and touching moment with Zinnia, how Celine and Robert surrounding this dying man is happening. You do hear laughter uh, from Ren and Pepper in the distance. It's not unwelcomed, though. The man doesn't appear to be sad, truly, just waiting. So hearing the laughter doesn't feel out of place, it just feels like a conversation in the distance. Zinnia listens to what how said, saying no matter what he says, heal him. So she's gonna kneel next to the man. Um, this is gonna hurt. And I yank the arrows out. Ah, as he kind of falls over in pain. As you do so, you see a tremendous amount of blood begin pouring out. Whoever shot him shot him right in the kidneys. It was a good shot. The same time, my hand is on his shoulder and I ke- uh, cast Cure Wounds at first level. You hear protest from the man as he tries to swat your hands away when you do so. Continue with the spell? Yep. Okay, go ahead and heal. How much? Nine points. Nine points of healing. Okay. As you reach over and heal him, uh, you yank out one arrow. So he says, no, stop, before you yank out the other one. Ah, what, what did I tell you? Before immediately a warm radiance fills over his stomach. Uh, you begin to see where he had pulled up his shirt, showing his rotund belly. More like dad bod rotund than like big fat boy rotund. Uh, As you hold it. (laughs) Yes, same. Definitely. (laughs) Uh, uh, Half and half, you know, (laughs) as uh, you uh, immediately put your paws uh, on his stomach, Uh, kind of taking the cue from you. Celine is going to do the same thing. Um, He goes to swat your hands away, but she actually uh, goes to kind of hold his hands back as you heal him. Uh, So you heal him up. Um, healing over the first wound as Celine then will follow suit and put her hand over the second arrow wound and also cast Cure Wounds. As you are certain that whatever wounds that these arrows might have been dealt are long in the past. A dying man no longer, but an angry man has been replaced as he... <laughs> what are you doing? I... <laughs> I didn't want... I wanted to end on my terms. What are you doing? What are you even? You are destined. You have two people here with arcane power. If they are here, destiny has decided it's not your time. Um, I'm going to make another encode thoughts and put it in a jar. And that glowing thing that you mentioned, how he sees her, give this to her. Or don't. I captured the memory of how you see her. I think it'll mean more than your words can. You set it on the ground next to him for him to pick up. He just kind of sits there, clutching his stomach. He's like... It didn't hurt no more. What... What'd you do to me? Looking at Zinnia. I'm a cleric of Nimbus. I healed you. Celine's like, actually, me too. Uh, Two for the price of one. Not used to that. Sorry. We're very good at what we do. You often go around sticking your nose where it's not asked. Nimbus cleric. Yes. He falls back in the grass on the ground. The arrows covered in blood lay next to him. But in his giant hands, uh, each finger, even for you, a lioness, might be thicker than one of the uh, fingers, toes on your paw. So he lays back and kind of grasps his head. I mean, if you really wanted to end it on your own terms, arrows right there, the spear is still in your brother. So, I mean, it's not like you don't have options. He looks over, looks at the body, and back at you. 
He grasps the memory off the ground. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this does. He puts it in his coat pocket. Slaps it in. There's no what place for me in Queenstown, anyway. What was the name I got from when I read his mind? Her name or his name? His. His. His name is Jez Corrigan. Um, How's gonna rise and kind of uh, give Zania and Celine like a kind of like we should head out kind of thing? Be safe, Jez. And what? I know this. What are your names? This is Vanilla. This is Celine. I'm How How. Over there is Ren and Pepper. And Robert. <laughs> Robert waves as you start pointing things out. Hey. I can't say thank you because I don't know if I want this yet, but... Don't Come with your safe travels on the road. Feelings mutual. Do you all leave him there on the plateau? Yeah, I think so. I think we've done enough. As you all walk down the dirt path, you see Jez sitting on the edge of the cliff. You turn and look at him. He still stands there before you continue walking further down the path. But when you look back, he's standing up, and looking over what must be his brother's body, no longer sitting on the cliff before you. Continue walking down the path towards Queenstown. Celine speaks up. I think we did a good thing there, really. Good I, uh, I did too. Karma's on our side, truly. We're owed one. Good one. Ren, do you shake your head? No, that's Drew shaking his head. Oh, okay. Got you. <laughs> I think things are looking up. As <laughs> everyone is Drew shaking. That, that, shaking that would head. probably be Ren shaking <laughs> that time. <laughs> With that... It seems that it is 7.53. It's right close to the top of the hour. We're going to have the party continue and make their way towards Queenstown, but we're going to take a quick little seven-minute break and come back as you just prevented Jez... Ziz... Jez's... Death on the edge of the plateau. See what that means. Ooh, but and... we're going to have a break, and we're going to do the giveaway for the magic item slash creature for whoever wants to win that. So if you haven't entered yet, and you want to make a magic item for the party to have to help them, or also a thought, you can curse that magic item, just something to think about, or create a really difficult creature or a really helpful creature for them, you and I will do that together. So make sure you enter that giveaway, and I'll be reaching out. Follow an exclamation mark led. Only 34 people have entered out of the 60-something that are here. So, Gosh, you know. Better do it. I mean, right now, do it's pretty it. good odds. So Just do it. 34 people. <laughs> I could see uh, LaBeouf now. Do it. Make a magic item, brother. Uh, I guess he's <laughs> brother. <laughs> right. Uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. See you soon. Bye. We back, baby. We back and ready to do another giveaway. So if you haven't done so yet, you snooze, you lose. Drew, let's go ahead and do it. Closing entries. Picking winner. Corthane. 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 Nice. Corthane. Nice. So already it. watches Loreforge. Yeah. Corthane, if... Uh, well, you're definitely on Discord. So Corthane, uh, message me on Discord and we'll go from there. We'll make either a magic item or we'll make a creature a cursed item a really bad creature whatever you want to do we'll make it and we'll make it happen at some point uh within the campaign so hit me up on discord sure. and we'll go from there congratulations um remember the next giveaway is which is live which is live is drew jakey and i gonna make a one page well not make we will read off a one page script of whatever you write like if you want just jakey to do something it's totally fine it means drew and i don't have to do any work uh but True. whatever you write one page will do it as long as it's not not safe for work and all three of us approve your script meaning you're not going to be spouting some hate speech out there because that ain't happening
So I would also like to say that Jackie, that pizza looks hella fine. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Um, I will say I pre-approve uh with sans the 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 like very negative speech in it, but I will read Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Don't worry. Sans the <laughs> awful things that are in that. Because there's some awful like word things, but the story I would consider. I'm just totally seeing now a very Ben Ficky between uh, Ren, Howe, and Robert finally finding their love for one another. <laughs> Chad is love. Chad is life. I oh, see. we haven't gotten into Ren's backstory too much, so hey. Right, there we go. Yes. Hey, we kind of did. Now you can turn into Robert after this one page thing that comes out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. So make sure you enter that. And let's get right back to it. Where we left, you all were heading down towards the valley that leads out over Queenstown. From the top of this plateau, you actually get a decent view as the sun is setting. Everyone roll me a perception check. Perception. Sun setting as in it's starting to get dim light or is it still bright sunlight? Uh, it's sunset. <laughs> uh, it is not dim yet. You can still see everything, no problem. Think Breath of the Wild yeah, sunset. I'm asking because I'm a drow and the sun hurts my eyes. It does hurt your eyes still. Okay. My camera won't focus, but that's a natty. Natty. Natty one. That's a All natty right. one, baby. Two <laughs> nat ones. Whoop, whoop. Oh, the, oh no, that was that was nat 20. No, that no, was nat 20 for me. Oh. Okay. No, I know. I'm also <laughs> celebrating my natty. Pepper, Zania? I'm back to my usual three. Ah, good. Good perceptions for you. Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> Well, uh, that's the same number that Celine got. So, hey, Thunder Sisters. Twins. <laughs> uh, Ren, as you look out over to the valley, everyone else, the sun kind of is like when you're driving. It's right in your eye. It's hard to see. You just kind of focus on the road down below. Ren, however, eagle-eyed, corneas a burning as you're looking right into the sun. <laughs> you look down over the valley, and you see, for the first time, peace and beauty that you haven't seen in a long time. Scarce trees, large fields with enormously wide fences, horses that roam up and down, hay bales created for the horses to eat from, wide open pastures. This is truly a calm, serene area. This space now entering into Queenstown is well protected and well guarded. There is a border that you come up to uh, that seems to be patrolled by riders and knights rather than any physical barrier or border. You can see down and over this valley that's here, you see large oak trees that span with what must be hundreds of years of creation. These things gnarled and flower or er, 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 in bloom, though being that the cold is coming, you also see snowflakes as it is beginning to be night it is very cold now that you have passed up out of elfinvale and into queenstown you see the first signs of snow as winter is approaching from where you're at the clouds above don't so much look like clouds so much as the sky just turning gray as the sun sets beneath them but a bit of peace fills your mind as you look over this and finally think okay we're as long as they don't dislike us, we're in a protected area here. Rin's going to sit down and take this in. As you're all this walking, nice. you hear a... Yeah. Rin sits quickly on the ground. What are you doing? I'm enjoying this. Can we enjoy it in there where there's food and heat and everything else? Mm. Not yet. We've been fighting. We've been running. We've been doing all these things. It's nice to just take a small moment. And we might still be fighting and running if we stay out here when it gets dark. Listen, you're strung up. You're 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 you're, you're tense. Just sit. Just five I'm minutes. Done. That's all I'm, I'm asking. Done. Five minutes. I'm done with you. And I just start. I continue walking. Pepper, ho hold for a moment. Ren actually may speak something. A bit of wisdom here. We have to stop for the night. The sun is setting. Everywhere else is open pastures. We either stop here or we stop there. Why not stop to where we could see anything coming from below? Why not stop in the city? The city's a day's ride away. 
or walk, I guess. But there's look, there's some lights down there, and there's potentially some houses, and there's got to be someone around. It's also viable. I didn't know if you wanted to risk staying with someone or if they would allow us. But I see that point too. I could use an actual bed. I mean, even hay would do wonderful wonders at the moment. I wouldn't mind just taking two minutes to sit and then we go and see if someone would let us crash in their barn or something. I just think... That's all I'm asking, Pepper. Just, just, come on. Look at this. Seriously, boys, if something attacks us in the next two minutes, I'm going to kill you myself. (sighs) And I just sit down. I'll grant you that. As... I was going to lie down. (sighs) Pepper sits down, not relaxing so much as getting more tense here on this road that leads downwards. How sits down, and you can almost, with the steep angle of the road, lay down and get a good vision of the... That's exactly what How does. Yeah. Uh, it's nice grassy fields that go down this pathway right off the edge of the dirt road where you could see across the fields no problems at all. There is, maybe about 60 feet from all of you, an apple tree. Well, if Ooh. anyone likes apples, that is. Um, Ren, the yeah. land that we're on now, is that Queenstown land or is it like farmer land? Like whose land is this? It's a good question. Well, survival. You can do oh. it, Dice. I believe in you. Go. Also, how it's far a critical, is the apple fail. Tree? critical fail. Critical <laughs> fail. Um. <laughs> Sure. Why not? Yeah. Uh, oh, was I supposed to do survival? No, no, no. Just Ren, since you asked him. No, I, I, I don't even have the map out. Didn't even look at it. Just like, yeah, sure. Sixty feet. Sixty feet. Yes. Yeah. How's How's gonna go within thirty feet and use Maychan to pick an apple just in case it turns into a whomping tree and absolutely bodies me? Um, but once I get one of the apples, I'm gonna give it a full. Look over. If it's a good old apple, I'm going to grab six of them. As the leaves kind of shake uh, when you pull the apple off the top. This is probably going to be one of the last apples of the season, the fall season, before it turns winter. As you pick it uh, and observe the apple, a snowflake lands on it. As you look up before rubbing it on your... Taking a bite. Solid Granny Smith. Good apple. Yeah, I'll grab a couple, and then I'm how's just going to kind of walk around everyone. Um, while everyone's getting up to keep moving and then just like pop one in everyone's hand. I don't take one. Yeah. I'll take one and use prestidigitation to make it taste like badger. Not what I thought. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, he's going to add caramel flavor. Nope. nope, nope. Mm-mm-mm, meat apple. Because apples have that crunchy taste to them, it definitely feels like you're biting bone. Do you say caramel? Caramel, caramel. I kind of use it interchangeably. I'm not one that says one. Oh, word. we caramel. found Alex's caramel. word. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Wait, do you not like caramel? <laughs> no, no, caramel is amazing, but caramel? That's like See, a person. it's a caramel apple, but if I say just the individual item, it's caramel. Caramel blank. But if I'm having a bite of something, it's a caramel. It right. I'm still I'm will, the same way with pecan and pecan. You and know, pitten. The, 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 yeah. yeah. Python? Python. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pit- I'm not team anymore. Pit-tong? It doesn't bother me one bit. <laughs> oh, good. Um, we should keep saying it. I'm going to use prestidigitation if Selene and Zania want me to, because I noticed uh, Ren gave me an idea. I'm going to make them like salted caramel apples, because that's fun and tasty. We'll say that with your prestidigitation, rather than actually making magic, uh, you just make a bit of salt in your hand. Real salt. Prestidigitation could make something like that happen. Uh, you... T- Salt bay over the bites of apples uh, as the salt falls down. Uh, you all look up at him. The salt is kind of brownish, uh, as if it does have a bit of caramel flavoring into it that's magically infused into the salt. As you bite into it, oh, one of the best apple bites you've ever had. Oh, how oh, this is great! Right. <laughs> Um, while Howe is munching the apple, like he's got his mask up, and anyone who looks like Howe's eyes are becoming dilated, because while Howe was like, yeah, I like rice the most, Howe is like, 
addicted to apples and that's why when you said apple tree like ryuk style how is just like doing his best to like savor every single bite of just apples um apples you say 118 119 120 all right guys two minutes is up let's go yep deal's a deal pepper stands up uh, and starts walking backwards and says like come on come on let's go let's go no no time pepper as you're walking backwards the sun is beginning oh, no. to set it's closer to dark <laughs> than it is light you see a few tiny rocks fall down the trail as if something is following you and you look up and there's a light someone carrying a lantern walking towards you or down the trail that is looks to be a thick silhouette of jazz um, hey, Jez. He's a distance away. I don't know if you're doing anything or allowing him to oh, get closer. Oh, okay. Um, He's probably a quarter of a mile away, but you can definitely tell that it's him. I'll just give, like, a quick, like, wave from farther. Doesn't appear to wave, but just carries the lantern and continues walking down the path. The okay. path that we're on? Yeah. Like the... He's up it, and y'all are further down, going towards the valley. Hey, I uh, thought you weren't coming to Queenstown anymore. As he, uh, you all kind of wait for him to get closer, and when he's in shouting range, Zinnia says, Hey! <laughs> How kind of waves before he gets closer. He's an imposing figure of a man. You're glad that you probably didn't have to fight him like his brother might have, uh, if you could handle him because of your experience, but you definitely wouldn't want to take a punch from his big, meaty hands. See, Comes down as he stops and looks at you all and says, I'm not. Still don't think I want to go there. But I want to go past it. I think I'll head to Okanada. Make a new life there. Okay. Quit sitting. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Got a Amber alert. Always good to check those. Uh, also, uh, Ribograin says hello. <laughs> um, Hi, Ribograin. Hi, Ribograin. As uh, he comes to you and says, Quit sitting. The mountain pass is not safe at night. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper literally does the <laughs> that motion. Oh, that's right. Get off the road. I hope you get into Queenstown. Give you a horse. He begins walking south, not waiting for a response, but begins going down the path. Throwing an offer out there, whether you agree to him or not. I'll, I'll walk along, but I'm going to talk to him. Yeah. Uh, why keep that memory if you don't want to go to Queenstown? I don't know what you are, or else I'd refer to you by it, but uh, not seeming to have any sort of malintent behind his words, uh, just genuinely doesn't know what a Leonin is. Uh, he said, I don't know what you are, or I'd refer to you by it. But I like the memory. I'll keep it myself. But I meant what I said. Don't want her seeing me anymore. I head to Okinawa. People who can handle themselves can live there freely. But what do you bother me? Celine says, I'm a I'm actually from Halbeck. <laughs> I know you could you could stay there. Uh Halbeck's great. There's lots of places in Okanada. Um it, it, if you do horses, right? It's like Yeah, you do. That wonderful. Uh we're always trying to get Queenstown horses. Everybody needs them. They're the best. If you know what to do, that you can make good money in Hallback. Maybe I'll head there then. Thank you. Elf? He kind of says quizzically to, uh... She's... Now, that antique. But, cl yep, Elf's good enough. Close enough. Um, But, Hallback, go there. That's where my folks are. Oh, little Loki. If you don't I, have I a like point, you know uh, you get it. I was gonna say, getting that inspo, but then also repping the Ribo merch? Like, holy... Can I just say, Drew's never looked better. Uh, <laughs> and if you want to look that good, too. Um, 
he kind of asks where Hallback is, and Celine and him converse and says like, "Oh, it's it, it's towards the northwest, etc." Uh, as you're walking down the path, um, but feel free to continue conversing with him if you have other questions or thoughts for him. If not, he's going to keep walking. I mean, like, Find it's, it's, sorry. Oh. I was going to say, like, it's it's going to be a little weird. Like, what if you get another girlfriend and then, like, she finds that memory of, like, another girl, you know? It's kind of weird. The like, memories, they'll they'll fade after a bit, so. Oh, I, did he know that, that though? He probably didn't. He probably didn't. He probably didn't. He won't, yeah, that's fair. It's, it is a little weird if he didn't think about the logistics, but. I mean, did he know that? Um, good to know now. I'll. Look over it another time. When does it fade? That's a good question. Eight hours. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. We'll look at it tonight. But then I'll just let it go in the wind. Start fresh, start anew. If that's what you choose, that's your choice to make. It is. Keeps walking down the path. Everyone follow? Cool. Yeah, we're going to look for, I suppose, like a farmhouse or something that we see a place of residence where we can just do the knock on the door. Hopefully they're not pumpkin head cultists, um, but someone that'll let us crash in the barn. Okay. As you're walking down the path, uh, you get to what is very much a cart road here. Uh, people must seem to stop and unload carts before they make travel into Elfinvale here or just stop to help uh, drop things off as there are a few tents off in the distance off from this road but as you begin traveling on this road you see what look to be a few riders one carrying the banner of queenstown heading in your direction the banner is bright and orange and even in the fading sun stands out like a beacon in the night seeming to almost glow but that's just must be the quality of the banner speaking for itself. The three riders begin heading towards you all at not a gallop, but a fast trot, seeming to kind of act as border-like enforcements as you saw before, Ren. Jez doesn't seem to stop, keeps walking forward before the three riders approach you all and say before before they get to yeah. us I, I do want to make sure i'm in human uh isabella form okay uh you were prior to that okay what, i form? just wanted to no no, no. what form check. were you in prior to that isabella um yeah i, I would have said after okay. i turned into pepper and zinnia i would have turned back into isabella okay you yeah then we're definitely uh in isabella because otherwise um <laughs> Jez might be a little freaked out, is the only uh, thought Fair. I was having there. So, as the riders approach, uh, they're all wearing heavy plate mail with those kind of um, almost like beak like helmets rather than the like crusader straight down cylinders, you know, uh, the traditional medieval knight like helmet. If you were to think of a knight on a horse in the King Arthur era, that's what you see as they approach. One of them with a spear, with the banner on the end of it, uh, the others carrying what look to be swords and shields, uh, and though they may have spears or lances uh, riding next to the horses as well as they run up. I would love for these guards to know Isabella, like one of her. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the idea. So one of the guards screams at, I'm just kidding. Is actually to, Isabella. To be Isabella's fair, like, who the hell are you? <laughs> to be fair, a little backstory that I think Ryan actually knows, and this is totally meta for everybody else. Isabella was actually a guard of Queenstown. <laughs> so, As not too far fetched. <laughs> the riders approach. Uh, you hear them in the distance yell, "Halt! Stop! Don't move from where you're at!" Or getting and riding up closer. Again, Jez doesn't really seem to stop or slow down, just kind of walks on the road as if he has a right to be here. You all continue. Stop. Kind of meet them on the way. I'm assuming like, um, you know, like kind of hands raised, like, hello. Like we've hands up here. Got you. Um, you all. But yeah, meeting At least Hal holds hands up as you walk. Pepper, Ren, Zania. Sticking with the party, unfortunately. <laughs> Renzania. 
I kind of copy what Jez is doing because he's from here, so he knows how it goes. I take out my little spring contraption that Marcus had made me that it goes funk and it forms into my quarter staff and I just set it on the ground and hold my other hand up. Okay. As the riders approach, they seem to stop in front of Jez and trot alongside him uh, kind of as if he is the head of the caravan. You hear one of the knights uh, kind of lift the helmet up and he's like... All right, Jez. Why'd you bring your ugly mug back through here? Uh, Jez kind of looks up to him and keeps walking. He says, go right to here, this land. Keep walking. That's all right with you. He says, all right, fine. Who are these others? Don't speak for them. You can ask them. Who are you? <laughs> Rin will walk up. Hey there, Sugar Plum. We're just passing on through. We're heading over to Pern. Oh, so you're me having to play. Uh... <laughs> yep. <laughs> I do oh, declare. <laughs> I do declare. Says, all right, ma'am. Passing through from Elfinvale. That's the place. We were coming from way down over in uh, the Ashburn area, a little bit north of that. Okay. Which path did you take? The rapids? No, we took uh, we took the mountain pass. Friends of the rangers. Yes, indeedy, the rangers of the rock. Got any proof? And friend points back at the stick with the uh, teal. Pepper, are you still wielding the stick? <clears throat> sure. Why not? Okay, and you don't have to be. You can just pull the thing out if you'd like. There's no reason for it to not be welded. I haven't attacked or anything else or taken it out of my hand. Okay, sounds good. Uh, you point to the back. He's like, all right. You call them Rangers of the Rock? Uh, it was just my name for them. Uh, all right, well. Friends of the Rangers, friends of ours. Welcome your way on through. Welcome to Queenstown. Much obliged. Thank you very much. For he kind of trots with the other two knights back uh, towards Jez. He says, where'd your brother go, Jez? Thought he was with you. Jez says, stuck a spear down his neck, gave him a new spine, much sturdier than the last one. Four of the knights kind of look back at each other before they all kind of... <laughs> Jez does not laugh continues walking uh, as all three of them look at each other like you someone gave you a spear <laughs> it myself yeah okay Did you just tape an arrow to a stick there creature nope make spears just like I make horseshoes looks down at their horse's feet before it continues to walk I'd say right just keep traveling, keep to the road. We saw some wolves off to the east. Not, shouldn't bother you, they were a few miles. Jez kind of nods and keeps walking down the road. The knights trot off back to the east. Before the knights go, Hal raises a hand and goes, Just a quick question. Um, new to Queens. Do you know where the most local brothel is and i point at one of them you just seem like you'd know could you could you give me a direction are you asking the knights before they trot off yeah i'm gonna ask one of them just if <laughs> so, there's a brothel because i'm assuming it's a legal thing and if they tell me it's illegal i'm assuming they'll tell me as jez, i have not been here so i'm asking yeah as jez mm. and them are conversing they begin to move off to the east before our house says hey oh, hold on oh, hold on hey uh i want to know about the brothels uh, <laughs> you just seem and I point distinctly at the one who called him Creature. You just seem like you might know. He looks... You got good directions about you. He looks down and up at you uh, before he takes his helmet off, uh, very much uh, kind of pulled back, uh, slicked over the ears, hair, very, again, Arthurian in style. Before he looks at you and down, he goes, I don't know where you're from, Grey Elf, but we don't allow such 
places in Queenstown. Oh. Hmm. Perhaps you shame. might be best served back in the south. So he kind of shares another chuckle with the group. Our women wouldn't stoop as low. <laughs> you hear an audible slight chuckle from Rin. <laughs> I, and an audible chuckle it, from Summer in the distance who tried to sell Zania. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel stabs Jakey's foot just a little bit. Just um, feel like a... How does that like kind of stands up right little wince kind of thing? Yep. And goes, fair enough. Puts the helmet. I, I sort of on. mimic the how move. How's it go again? <laughs> <laughs> behind them <laughs> um, before the knight looks down to you and says any other questions about civilized society nah bless your heart you're all good sweetheart thank you I, thank you ma'am yes I genuine question then if you guys don't have brothels this one's not a dumb one this is an actual <laughs> what did Pepper say? Sorry. I'm stabbing him again before he finishes talking. <laughs> I will take this one because I genuinely want to know if there's a place that sells scrolls and paper. As the uh, <laughs> as the uh, tail kind of gently goes into your leg, how goes, stop <laughs> it! Do they sell scrolls and paper in Queenstown? <laughs> Just kind of like <laughs> angrily before they say Queenstown has one of the greatest libraries around. It used to be the home of the Mages Guild over a millennia ago. A lot of the books were moved. If you're looking for true books and good learning, you can find it in Queenstown. Sounds good. Thank you very much. And I'm going to start walking on the road, and I'm going to do that. Like I'm wa I am walk, but once the, I pass the knights, I look backwards at Pepper walking backwards like, God damn it. <laughs> As the knights lower their helms, they trot off to the east. It's getting dark now. The sun has officially set, and you've got about a day's travel left towards Queenstown. Jez stops and looks at you all once it gets real dark. Says, I think you're probably going to want to sleep out here. Nobody's going to let you in their houses unless you have coin and want to give them a lot of it. Pick a place on the ground or use your coin. Don't know where you're from nor the wealth you have. Ground sounds good to me. Pepper, you were pretty adamant about finding a place to stay. What do you think? I mean, Jed probably knows this land better than we do. I guess one more night before we get to a nice bed. Fair enough. All right, I'll start setting up. You guys have shouted to me anything. And I'm just going to do the usual, setting up the alarm, having the little thread, and just go around. As and the, the guards are gone, correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ren walks over by Hao ha and says, nah, he wouldn't know where any of the brothels are. <laughs> the folks of the night wouldn't mess with him. Can we... Uh... just has like a big smile while he's going around in a circle now, giggling to himself. Can we pause for just a second and say congratulations to Turtles Me uh, for their family? Uh, their doctor called uh, and their mom got out of surgery. No more cancer, uh, no complications. Absolute bless. Uh, so happy for you. Just, I think that's worth pausing and saying congratulations. Absolutely. Congrats. Yeah, word. Oh, my goodness. Tell, the, tell your mom love. that Red Wagon Inn says, hey, good Hi. job. <laughs> Sending love and healing. Mm -hmm. And now we go back to Ren and Hound talking about hookers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should just pick up the whole session. Verity, what are you thinking? Because Verity wants to make a prediction. Right. Uh, uh, you already said it. Uh, no, they said I'm not saying anything, but I really hope I'm not right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Currently... The road that y'all are on, there's <laughs> maybe about 20 or 30 feet before there's fences on either side. Not secure fences, just fences that would keep livestock in. Easily climb over a bull. But on the side of the road here seems like a decent place as any, though you would be 
literally fenced in on two sides because there's fences on each ones. Um, but again, easy to go on and over. Uh, but Jez sits down. You can tell he was not planning to stay. Uh, he has no pack or he just finds a small tuft of grass, kind of picks them and makes a pseudo pillow uh, and kind of curls up, uh, sets the lantern down, lays his head on some grass, looking up at the sky. How's going to take his little bedroll? Because I have that and I legitimately have never used it. Um, so it's just like a fresh case bedroll that's like kind of like it's probably a little starchy because of how like rolled up it is. But he's going to um, place it by Jez. Give Jez like um, almost like a light pat on the shoulder. Grass is no place to sleep. He picks it up before looking at all of you. Why do you keep doing me kindnesses? Because I feel like it. I got no clue either, buddy. <laughs> Watch yourselves in Queenstown. You're this kind. I mean, you saw how I talked to the guards. You're an exception to my kindness. <laughs> He's going to take the bedroll, and he doesn't roll it out, but he actually leaves it as an actual soft pillow for him to use. Fair enough. Yeah. How's going to... How's going to just do his usual trance thing? Is there anything anybody else wants to do before they go to sleep for the night? I'm just gonna just gonna enjoy the nice. What what's the sky look like? Can you see the stars? Being that it is starting to snow, you really can't see too much. Every now and again, you get a little peek at it, but there are small droplets of snow. Not enough for anything to stay on the ground. It's not cold enough. It's probably like forty degrees, uh, but just kind of one of those weird Texas style snows. Uh, where it's just snowing and it's still above freezing. Um, as If, if yep. that's the case, then I'm going to do some minor illusion above me to make it look like stars, and then I'm going to go to sleep. Anybody else? I'm only laughing because you said Texas-style snow, and I'm like here in California, I'm like, what is a Texas-style snow? <laughs> it could literally be 70 degrees out and snow sometimes, and that's about as cold or snowy as we'll get in Texas, and it will never stick to the ground ever. It'll just snow for like 10 minutes, and it'll be like, cool, that was a nice decade of snow. Cries in Canada, it being minus 40 yesterday. <laughs> true, true. I'm going uh, to grab how um, before we go to sleep. Yep. Sort of pull him out to the side. <clears throat> What's up? Look, I get it. Um, doesn't mean you're not going to give me a headache. Um, let's try to be careful for once. I think, you know, out of everyone, I know your head's usually screwed on, right? Um, over the next couple of days, let's try to keep a lower profile. Yeah. I am. Um... Yeah. It's been a while since I've been in a full town with guards like that. And uh, it just reminded me the first time I came from the down under. And I think you can relate. No, I get it. I get it. I mean, you've seen my beauty, Jan. I've had to deal with it in the family for quite a long time. Um, And I totally get where you're coming from. But I'm just worried that we're going to attract way more attention than we need. No, No, I agree. I'll keep to myself. Um, also, uh, thanks for keeping us moving. I know us getting placid and sticky feet is frustrating, but I appreciate that you are a voice of being headstrong with us. Because I think if it were up to, you know, the rest of us, we'd dawdle a lot. So the fact that you're willing to direct us means a lot more than you know. Well, look, to be honest, I mean, I really don't really want to like do all this but you know you've got to help family because otherwise what do you have and you know i've got to really fix the the stupidity of giving a freaking spear to the the spear to a dragon right someone's got to fix this so it might as well be me right because no other fuckers will do it um so this is where we are which is our lot in life at the moment so i'd rather get it done quicker than later than you know then take our time because then at least we can get onto more interesting stuff. I mean, out of curiosity, and you don't have to answer this or just think on it, but if you didn't hand over the spear, what would you be up to, Pepper? That's, uh... How would you say it? 
a multi-conversational situation. Um, look, you, you've got a you've got a head on your shoulders. I didn't <clears> give <throat> this, this beer away. That was my brother. That's a whole different scenario. I'm just trying to fix the mistakes he did because, boy, he can be an idiot sometimes. Someone's got to fix his problems. I mean, all of us have errors in judgment. I mean, <laughs> there's there's errors in judgment, and then there's just no judgment. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I'm still glad you're with us, Pepper. Regardless of the circumstances, well, you know. I hear. Uh, let's see what we can do to try to keep everyone on a bit more down low next couple of days, eh? Yeah. Also, I save this for you. And I'm going to hand Pepper the apple that uh, Pepper refused earlier. And then I'm going to go lay down. I pop it in a pocket. Um, I pop it in a particular pocket that I know someone <clears throat> in there will enjoy. <laughs> the boy! I keep forgetting the boy's there. The little pattery sounds of a uh, lemur-like creature eating an apple is much appreciated. Right. Is there a watch set up, or are we doing the alarm? I mean, with no reason, trance, no question. I'll do half and half with someone, because I'll just I'll let do. people know, like, hey, now that y'all know who I am, I just need to sleep four hours, so if you guys take turns watching the first four hours, I can watch the rest of the evening, and then we've got the alarm set up, too. And I'll tell Jez he can sleep because it looks like he may want it. You hear a loud snore as you say, like, hey, buddy, you can sleep in reply that he already is. <laughs> he didn't seem that. to be too worried about the watch. Zania, sorry. I'll take the watch. I, I'll take a watch. I'm sleeping. <laughs> Ren says, okay. <laughs> uh, Robert also uh, offers, like, I can, but you're like, how you're like, it's, it's fine, buddy. And before, you know, okay, yeah. He'll he'll gladly take Two a night's rest. Two is more than enough. So, yeah. So we'll go How for four hours, then Zania and Pepper for the other two hours. Or other four split into two. Okay. Uh, all three of y'all, roll me perception rules. I'm going to guidance myself. <laughs> what was that laugh, Alex? <laughs> I just don't do perception. Oh, I do do perception roll. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if it changes anything, Ribo, but just a reminder, I have 120 feet of, like, true dark vision, so I can see in color and stuff. True, true, true. Um, uh, um, that is a 22. 22. 19. 19. 19. 19. Ah, look at y'all's high rolls. Great. It's just snoring. It kept awake. Yeah, exactly. It makes it really easy to be on watch. Uh, as you're sleeping, this road is not untraveled. Uh, there are a few farmers that uh, are going through with hunting bows at night, seeming to be protecting their uh, livestock uh, that come riding through slowly on a horse. They don't try and wake you up as you're sitting there awake. You kind of give them a nod as they have a lantern off on the edge of their horse. They give you a nod as you come through. Uh, you see two groups of knights head to the south, seemingly to meet up with the other ones. Other than that, Uneventful night before Zania, you're last on watch. You wake everybody up. And it's time to go. Time to head on to Queenstown. Up uh, and Adam. Mm -hmm. Me too, Ren. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ren's got a new sleep. lease on life. <laughs> As. Um. Well, I was just about to say, while we're starting to walk, um, no, I don't know how we're taking if Queenstown is just a stop on the way, but I would love to stop at some libraries and stores because I have not been shopping in some time, and that would be nice to uh, spend some time doing that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Queenstown? Kern? I'm good for any sort of shopping. <laughs> Wait, Ren, did you say that, like, shopping isn't a good thing to do in Queenstown? No, 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 I'm just thinking about things and why don't what we... I want to go into this town as. Why don't oh. we first find passage to Kern, and then we'll know how much time we have until that passage leaves to fill it up with whatever you guys want to do. 
That's a good call, Pepper. Let's see. So, Isabella knows me as the cutest. So, okay. Ren, 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 Ren. Stop right now. There's a person with us that doesn't know you can change. I wasn't going to do it out here in the open. Yeah, but if you walk there and do it and then come back, you're a different person. I don't know. I think it's better odds than me walking in as and Isabella happening to be the front guard. I mean, <laughs> I think that would have been a little weirder. Oh, she's a guard. Uh... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> good for you, yeah, Ren. And how's going to start walking? <laughs> is it the uniform that does it for you? Uh, say that again, Robert. Is, is it the uniform that does it for you? Robert, Some, don't. Sometimes. <laughs> Why oh, not? Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Ren, don't. <laughs> Can you wait till we split paths, Ren? Yeah, if we do it before we get in the town. As you all spend the rest of the day getting towards Queenstown, it's a solid 20 miles. It is a long day, but it's a flat day. There's not much that you really have to worry about here. It's mostly people who have livestock. This whole area is owned by the queen, and it's her land. She does what she wants with it, and she gets the horses raised as she wants with it. As you're going, once you get a bit closer, about halfway there, looming in the distance, you can see Queenstown, the great large city built so tall with its large palace from miles and miles away. You begin to see the town the capital city of the colonies of the queen standing like a beacon before you rather than being built by what would obviously be white dwarvish stone. This is very traditional human make stone, but gray in the distance begins to look white, uh, tall medieval towers uh, that seem to point upwards, kind of the traditional castle look and appeal to it. Uh, the rook towers are those circular ones with the kind of wooden tops and the uh, crenellations on the edge. Uh, a, a ring that goes around the city, a stone wall that is manned by guards that patrol all the way around, and horses that go along the bottom with their knights. You can also see, as you get closer, training fields where the knights, the soldiers are. You see several targets where archers come to practice that ride for the queen. And something a bit unusual if you've never been here before, archers on horseback. Not a common occurrence in the world. It takes a lot of training to be able to ride like that. These are very skilled horsemen and women. Something to note, uh, as you get a bit closer, at one point, maybe about half a mile from the city or so, before when you're walking down the road, just has been quite silent, before he turns off on a small path that leads to a small stable uh, with maybe about 40 or 50 horses. He turns, uh, looks at you all and says, we're walking with you. I'll uh, maybe see you again sometime. Take care, Jess. You as well. Good luck on your way to wherever it was you were going. Uh, you as well. Good luck to you, too. He heads off towards the stables. There are a lot of people here at these stables. Uh, some dwarvish, some human, um, seeming to be possible relatives of Jez though all of them seem to either be full dwarves or full humans besides himself. As you all continue on towards Queenstown, the walls seem to be way bigger when you're getting closer to them. Uh, the gates and garrisons standing at the front are iron and wrought bars, though they're the kind that you can see through. Very good in defense of things like... Uh, why am I blanking on the names of the uh, battering rams uh, rather than wood doors that close? These things would be hard to break your way into, definitely. Standing at the front are several guards, all clad in plate mail armor with plumes that match the same orange feathers 
of before from those banners that you saw. Great flags stand on the top of this garrison that seem to be as large as ship sails for you to be able to see for miles out the flag and appearance of the queen. It is the crown that sits atop the orange color here. Many caravans and merchants come in and out of this specific gate here, not even being stopped, just going to and fro, which you find odd, typically, anywhere you go into a city like that. You see a lot of them being stopped, but you see nobody having impeded movement coming into the outskirts of the Queen's Town. What are we doing? Is is there somewhere where I can, like, find a, just a little bit of cover? There are guards atop the wall who look over and patrol. However, if you wanted to get snug and right up next to the wall, you could definitely try and get some cover, though you might be seen. Well, I'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way in fashion and a nice big old cloak over me. Do you go up under the wall to do that? Or do you just fashion in the middle of the road? You know what? I'm going to do it in an interesting way. I'm going to fashion my scarf to unfurl as a cloak. Seemingly almost like a pull string on the scarf you, and before the teal robe flows down into a very elegant flowing noble's dress. Nobles? Or are you looking more commoner? Uh, more more commoner cloak. Commoner's teal dress as you push it down. Uh, in the manner and style of Queenstown, it is very medieval. It's got the poofy, feathery bottoms, but not the mm-hmm. look at my giant four-foot-wide butt that most of the uh, mm-hmm. medieval style had. Uh, it is just a commoner's robe. Could even be and mistaken for a teal had. barmaid's. It's a giant four-foot-wide um, butt. Hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just going to do it this way, and uh, with the cloak, like, a hood over it a little mm-hmm. bit, I'm going to get the hair to turn a different color, so at least I look a little bit different. Okay, as y'all are on this road, uh, being that where you can see the garrison here, uh, you're definitely within a couple hundred feet. There's caravans coming to and fro, coming your direction, away from your direction. There's a lot of people around you. There's a good chance you might blend into the crowd, or a good chance the crowd is all suddenly going to turn and look towards you. So it depends how stealthy you're trying to do this. I mean, I would guess fairly stealthy. Okay, go ahead and roll, or actually, I'll roll a stealth check for you. I'll cast Mm -hmm. guidance. Okay, good to know. Okay. Uh, Ren, you look around and you see a large group of war horses that you think, I could just walk right between them and that would be a solid place to where nobody would be able to see my hair color change. I'm just going to walk right behind them and thus shall be fine. As uh, Ren says, hold on just a minute before uh, rushing off, or Isabella says... uh, just a moment before you all see Isabella rush over to where some war horses are uh, and walk right behind the war horses. And as she pulls her hair going from what color to what color? Uh, going from a dark, dark brown more to a kind of like uh, like light brown, like sandy blonde. Ah, so mid transformation of the hair color uh it starts to turn blonde and is brown at the bottom before you spook one of the war horses and are kicked by its hoof knocking yourself in the middle of the street half hair color change from one to another as you're gonna take (laughs) seven points of bludgeoning damage uh which not only are you kicked (laughs) if you want to use it No, it's not worth it. As you're kicked kicked in the the middle of the street, all of them, you hear a sudden gasp from people around. Fading into the crowd. (laughs) As what looks to be a bowman uh, sitting atop the horse here, though not necessarily one of the Queen's Knights type bowmen, says, Oh my gosh, man, I'm so sorry. What? What happened to you? Are you okay? Looking at your now half colored hair thinking that you're kind of someone who might have half dyed their hair and looking a bit crazy mm-hmm. uh yeah now not going from are you okay to 
seeing that you look a bit crazy, why why would you walk up behind a warhorse like that? That's are you stupid? Hey, hey, hey dropped my apples. Did you see the apple? Are you I pretending to be old now because you still look like Isabella? No, it's just a weird voice. Okay, I my apple, trying to be more on the like crazy, crazy side. street okay. beggar side. I dropped my apple. I'm assuming How How and Pepper do the Homer Simpson meme into the crowd where it's just into the hedges, just <laughs> fade. Are Pepper and How trying to not be noticed or notice that they're with this person? <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 just gone. Person. I'm disappeared as much as I can. Uh, How begins to walk away uh, before, like, Pepper, we should. Before How looks and Pepper's already gone. Oh, good call. <laughs> before following uh, into the crowd where. Pepper slumps away as Zania, Celine, and Robert look over there towards <laughs> so method. <laughs> look over there towards Isabella on the ground, like, where's my apple? As the Bowman looks up in his kind of studded leather at the other ones. Says, but just he puts a silver piece in your hand, thinking that you are a street beggar. Roll a performance for me. Thank you. Ha! <laughs> um, so plus four, that's going to be a 22. Solid. As uh, <laughs> quickly as your mouth is closed as a changeling to where other people can't see, you remove a few of your teeth uh, mm -hmm. as he says, go on, get out of here. And before you just kind of smile with like four teeth. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's like, uh, ah. He hops back up on his horse. Uh, you are one silver the richer out of pity uh, before he joins his <laughs> companions yeah. and heads inward toward the city. Uh, before someone... <laughs> Roll a perception for me for Pepper and How, who are actively like surveying but staying away at this point. Eight. I got so excited about the 18, and I always remember when it's daytime, I got to roll it again. Five! <laughs> Sounds good. Ren, Robert... This one hurts my eyes! <laughs> Isabella, Robert comes over and says, Are you all right? And before helping you up. You still have multi-toned hair. I, I'm going to leave the multi-toned hair for a minute, but I'm going to give myself back my teeth. <laughs> I hate horses. Uh. Bixel says Even that's a good way to make money. Life, I feel like I hated them too. <laughs> I can see that. Are you? Do you? Do you need some healing? No, I'm, I, I'm that fine. was a hefty kick. Uh, yeah, I just need to and prestigitation clean my dress off. All right, I'll be all right. Where did where did the rat go? Huh. Pepper and how? You two look uh, sitting next to a small stall that is outside the gates here uh, where people can you know, come and buy water and things for the road. Uh, there are a ton of people buying and running up to this stall, and it's quite busy. Uh, you two stand next to it where there are other men drinking uh, beer and wine for the day, getting ready to move out. Um, as it is close to sunset at this point, there are some that have to travel at night. Uh, you use this as an opportunity to blend in and look over at the group, deciding whether or not you want to actually rejoin the group. How about a uh, send them a message? Let them know that we'll follow them when we get through. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use sending it um to, to everybody. Just say like we're gonna we're gonna tail you guys because it seems like you've already made a bit of a splash. Um, but we won't be far. That's for sure. And Isabella's gonna pull up her hair and put it in a bun, like a nice tight bun, and then continue the transformation while it's in the bun. Gonna change the rest of the color. Yeah. Okay. Are you hiding that at all? Or just doing uh, it? I mean, it's it's wrapped up in a bun i figure if half my hair is already transformed tying up the rest of it into a tight bun would just i mean it's subtle it's going from brown to you know sandy blonde okay sounds good so like jakey's hair color a bit of magic changes it to a little bit darker of a blonde as you stand in the streets ready to go further into 
Queenstown as it gets closer to night, or are we stopping here outside? What are we doing? Uh, well, ladies, what are we doing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Says Robert, the lady. Oh, Robert's with us, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Robert would have flaked on me too, so that's all right. Oh, you helped um, you up. He was the one who helped you up. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I dare. Uh, well, ladies done? and Robert, what are we doing? <laughs> How? Are they just going to stand there? I have no idea. I mean, we could keep in touch with them and go by the dock. I know lots of dock workers stay late, so if we want to start talking to somebody about a boat, but I think they might want to stay at an inn. I don't know if we're going in town. Should be probably some in down the dock as well. I'll send a message. Uh, Before and I'll send the it message to gets everybody. <laughs> Ren looks at Zinia and says, well, I'm sure if Pepper was here with her superior mind, she would have thought of something for us. Immediately as that crosses just here in the back, like, so what's the plan, Pepper? And I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shouldn't there be like a red wagon in here or not? Oh. We're still adventurers, aren't we? Uh, some of you. Oh. How uh, sweats and drow. How and Ren and Selene. <laughs> <laughs> you know, three out of six, um, not a big deal. Well, I'm personally not a member of the red wagon in. Marcus was, but I'm, I, I'm not. I, but I wouldn't mind paying my tin silver to stay oh i'll split it with everyone else i mean i get a free room so i can afford to help you guys out I unless ren you think there's a better place to stay no a red wagon in sounds great okay uh excuse me your closest red okay uh excuse um i ren i think i need help <laughs> a guard walks by i would assume uh, so y'all are currently out just, you know, 50, 60 feet from where the entrance is. There's lots of caravans and horses running by. Because Ren, you got kicked, you're kind of in the middle. You're like a stone where water passes all around you. Everyone's just kind of ignoring the four of you standing there in everyone's way. Um, which is totally fine. As you stand there, there's plenty of people walking by, though. Uh, if, Zania, you're trying to get someone's attention, or you can get a guard's attention. What are you looking for? I guess anyone that looks friendly. Yep, sounds good. There is a uh, a human male uh, with kind of short, curly uh, brown hair that walks by. A similarly kind of scruffy looking beard. Uh, if you were to picture somebody, Lil Dicky is the best description I can give of his face. Okay. Um, uh, or Dave Bird, if nobody wants to hear his rapper name. <laughs> Um, I think that's what we're expected tonight, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know. Um, uh, I don't know if I can do a good enough little Dicky impression or uh, with his like, slight lisp. Um, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to not do that. <laughs> As, uh, he's walking by, but he's got uh, a couple of... Or he's got like a stick overhand with a couple um, bushels of something uh, that are covered. As he's holding it on over as you say like, uh, Hey, excuse me. Yeah? Uh, yes? Uh, red wagon in. Does is it around here anywhere? Um. Yeah. Th no. Yeah. That there's definitely a red wagon. Good place to stay. You're gonna want to go inside though. Out here, not gonna be one. In there, definitely one. Uh, you want to go up the main road. Uh, before you get to the castle, definitely don't want to go to the castle. If you head east from there, should be another east. And then a west. Just, just head to the east of the city. You'll find it. Uh, cool. Thank you. Uh, what was your name? Uh, Bird. Bird. Dave. Bird. Dave. But B U R D. So no uh, copyright claim. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh yeah. And, and and Isabel is gonna grab onto Sne and pull away, and <laughs> as they walk away, <laughs> yeah, no problem. Isabel is like, we really should ask someone else. Um, right. I'm gonna send another sending to everybody. So actually, before before you go, I sorry, forgive me. I was I was just walking by. 
Um, and I, I couldn't help but notice what you did was really cool. They were talking all about it back there. What? You, uh, blonde haired now. Uh, you weren't before. That was really cool. Oh, you, you like my magic? Yeah. No, that was, that was really good. Yeah. I like that a lot. I can do fun things and I'm going to make a mustache. Like that less, I gotta say. Uh, <laughs> looking very pretty before, if I could be so fresh <laughs> to say. And I, I wipe it off. It's it's just a little trick the wizards taught me. Wizards, you where do you study? I don't. I don't. Not do per they se. T- I wouldn't study, but uh, oh, okay. I, I've got a friend who's a wizard out in Kern. Okay, Kern. They looking for like a new professional? Because I could. I could drop. I've been writing. Absolutely. Kern's a great place to go find new opportunities. You can okay. get sugar and boop on the nose. <laughs> awesome. Uh, he kind of looks uh, like, oh, whoa. <laughs> Someone with magic acknowledged me. <laughs> whoa. Uh, yeah. No, that's, that sounds wonderful. Kern, right? Yeah. Pleasure to meet Absolutely. you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that one of these days. Do it. You yeah, want good night, sugar. <laughs> yeah. Like trying to walk away. Yeah, absolutely. As uh he goes walking back in, you hear <laughs> you hear just in the distance, he's like, Nice, good job, bird. That was a good interaction. <laughs> As he <laughs> walks further into town. Uh Isabella will lean over to Zania. It's easy enough as a changeling to just let people think you're doing disguise self magic. Yes. Illusion magic, I should say. Smart. Pepper leans over to Hal and says, I wonder if that's another one that Ren can take an image of and look like. Hal snickers from behind <laughs> his mask. His face on the mask changes from like stoic kind of smile to just like full, like turd eating grin. <laughs> what is everybody doing? What are we doing? Uh, <laughs> going to find another person to ask where the red wagon is. <laughs> He gave you perfectly fine directions. You know, I want better directions. <laughs> Zinnia was also equally confused, like, but he just said, go in, go east. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. How's um, just following tailing and using sending every so often be like, so where are we going? Trying to find a red wagon in and Isabella is going to lean over. Is there a gentleman nearby that looks... You know, not terrifying. Sure, absolutely. My tap on the shoulder. Hey there, I've got a question for you. As, uh, since we're on the theme of rappers, right? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, the man in a kind of, uh, rip, rip. a very rip. puffy kind of, uh, a thick, jacket that's over uh, his clothing his winter clothes it's puffed in its long sleeve which is rare to see um for a thick piece of clothing like that it's a winter's coat uh, but he definitely appears to be a worker who earns money uh not like a merchant not not any sort of noble's clothes uh, or anything like that though he does have uh one kind of piece of jewelry that he wears around his neck there. He's bald of head, uh, quite dark of skin. Um, as he turns around and says, yeah, I don't know how to do my best Jay Z, but I'm going to try. He looks like Jay Z. Excuse me, sugar. You happen to know where red wagon Inn is. <laughs> yeah. Red wagon Inn. That's dope. If you go inside, <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch any Jay-Z things. I was trying to think of, I had a, di- I, I was like, oh, Hobson. I know him a lot. I really like Hobson, but I was like, nobody else knows Hobson. I'll just Jay-Z. This one's for you, Ryan. Right. Yeah, I know. That's my GFY. So you, you said like a jewelry, so I thought Flav of Flav, like a gigantic. Yeah, oh, okay. You know what? Change it back. Instead, he's got terrifying. incredibly long, uh, <laughs> like he's got incredibly long hair. As he turns to you, he's definitely had some dental work done uh he's Mm -hmm. his teeth must have fallen out because he's got uh metal ones in replacement as uh Mm -hmm. you go up to uh ask Uh him a question uh go ahead and ask your question again hey you know where the red wagon in is what sugar for this one (laughs) 
<laughs> Isabella walks away <laughs> to go find someone. As else. you walk away, he's like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my All right, God. I I claim an inspo for that. That's great. I love that. I agree. I'm just ready for the next person Little to walk John. up. Hey, do you know where the red wagon is? And they just look at you. You're smart. You loyal. You a genius. You're te- Say my name. He's like, man. You asking me? Somebody came and asked me for the red wagon in earlier. That's another one. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Another one. <laughs> <sighs> Do I get oh, inspo sorry, or GFY? Sorry. Yeah, well, no, that's giving you the GFY, GFY and dude. Got the power. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll take the GFY. It was worth it. Right back um, to being an actual person. Yeah, a, a dark, a, a darker skin uh, man with no recollection to Jay Z. However, that's the best description I can give him. Uh, you go okay. up and ask him where the red wagon in is. Where's the red wagon in? <laughs> I don't know why you're giggling, but. Uh, it's inside Garrus. Are you from here? No. Okay. I th- Sorry, I could have sworn I'd seen you around. I figured you would know. Uh, it's inside. Should be 10 roads down. Take a right. It's going to be a big red wagon sign since the name. Find it from there. Stay there. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, no I give him a silver piece. That I got from the guards at the front. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you walk away, he says, are you giving me this? You gave me information I wanted to know. Throws the silver coin back to you. Ah. Let's go. Fair enough. So where are we going? (laughs) Zania, you seem to be a little quizzical. You can roll an insight. Oi. Yeah. Oh, uh, four plus six? Ten? You don't know the customs of this area. Okay. I okay. turn to I turn to Hal, because I gather we're still following. Yep. Uh, two to one odds that we have to find a new party. Honestly, I don't think I should take those odds. <laughs> As you walk towards the garrison and into the rest of the city, you definitely notice that the guards stand stock still, not moving at all. Heads straight forward, but you can't really see their eyes behind their helms. It's getting dark. It's sunset. They seem to be just staring straight onwards and ahead as you pass them and go further into the city. Pepper and how following behind them also take note of the stock still plate wearing guards as you go into the city when you do so the kind of hustle and bustle of the outside of the city is immediately eclipsed once you move inside the streets now no longer a dirt pathway road but actual paved concrete here within queenstown the roads themselves uh, are, are pretty immaculate. They seem to keep themselves quite clean, uh, either for pride's sake or just happen to have been cleaned recently. You don't know. Though, Ren, you know the streets are always like this, at mm. least in the main parts of the city. Uh, tons of caravans coming to and fro. Lots and lots of stalls right inside the city trying to give people goods and sell them things before you head on out. Many, many people, uh, so much so it's hard to even focus on just one as you're walking through the city. They seem to notice new faces come up to you, Zania, Robert, and Celine, being that you're not human, as the most common of races here is definitely human, uh, though you do see some gnomes and some dwarves, uh, are singled out from the crowd as they come up to you. And so many of them are like, please, 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 please. You have to try my goods. I have the best braids and the best beads in all of Queenstown. No, 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 ignore their goods. Look, you definitely look like you need some treatments. I have the best, the finest of combs made of the most high quality ivory. And I'm, I'm going to speak back in Leon and like, I'm, uh, I'm gonna, obviously I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm just going to speak in Leon. Sorry, I'm not from here. Like I got to get out and I got to get, you know, just, my apologies, don't speak common. I'm going <laughs> to... Before, kind of like uh, when you're a, a tourist in a country that you don't know, they begin to speak words and just more numbers, trying to throw things out there that are like, 10 gold, 10 gold, and trying to... They don't stop their onslaught. 
Isabel will look. But they at, walk with uh, you. They don't stop you at all. <laughs> Isabel will look over at Zania and, and Leonin. Will say, "Don't mind them. Uh, they're they're just trying to get your money. They'll they'll waste it all." And then in common, she ain't got no money. Go on, leave us alone. Get the next group. <laughs> As this, she ain't got no money. <laughs> they turn with a rolled eye uh, and rush towards the rat folk and the drow that seem uh, to have walked I'll, away. I was, I was. Def- when we saw that happen, I pulled my cow. Okay. Um, cloak roll. over as much as I could. Roll a stealth for you. How are you doing the same? Um, I'm gonna look to Pepper and be like, I have a better way of dealing with these people. Once one of them approaches, a tuppence, please. A tuppence. <laughs> I'm just gonna like start begging the first one that comes near me. <gasps> I, I re- reach out in my pouch and I pull out a little bowl. It's got a little crack in it as well. I'll hold the bowl up. Roll a performance. Uh, both of you with advantage since you're helping each other. <laughs> Whoa, 25 with a natural 20. Nice. I also got a nat 20. I thought mine was special. <laughs> We're going to be making money tonight, boys. <laughs> Can I guide it to myself? <laughs> You already got a nat 20. What do you want? <laughs> I want to see how high with this truck can go. You how can. I do better than a 25? That's a 27. <laughs> there you go. 24 plus 3. As you see people swarm your friends that definitely look and appear to be foreigners, you immediately take on the personas of beggars. How with your kind of more obscure clothing and your mask uh, that could... And often is in cities used to hide uh, faces that have been scarred and marred. Uh, Pepper, you just cover yourself over and you're low enough to the ground that you're sure most people aren't going to see your face. You just hold out the bowl, uh, kind of following like a duo begging troop. The merchants ignore you entirely. However, you're like, well, when in Rome, uh, as the two of you (laughs) walk by, uh, how you start just kind of like you put a hand out to like stop people as they're walking by as you're like and as as you're doing with performance rolls of that high um ryan yeah because they're ignoring us completely it's a perfect time for my tail to pop out and maybe pick up an extra pouch <laughs> certainly it is you want to go ahead and try and steal there are several vendors nearby is there any particular one or do you want to find the one that annoys any of the most ah Sounds good. There is a ivory comb vendor that was quite persistent since Zania had such lustrous Leonin hair. I will see if I can procure an ivory comb. Sleight of hand for me. I'll guidance that. <sighs> uh, what's that, a d4? Yep. That's a four on that one. Four plus 15 plus nine is 20. Oh my. T- eight. <laughs> This is this is where I'll give you back in a city anytime, please. As um. how uh, has collected some gold and keeps throwing it in your bowl with some pence. Uh, the comb merchant has spotted another that seems to be taking their precious time up. A minotaur coming in through the gates. As such, solid use of a very big comb, leaving their stall quite unattended and quite able to be rampaged through. With a 28, you see a few things that catch your eye. There's one in particular that you think, they probably won't miss that, as there is a jade comb sitting in a glass display box on the merchant's table. The jade comb also has a ruby rose flower attached to the jade comb. Yo, that's an expensive comb. Oh my god. As your tail flicks over with its little metal pin, it's going to function as your thieves' tools and lock picking. Like a lock picking rake, it just immediately the lock flies open uh, as the tail lifts up the glass display, nabs the comb, sets it back down before immediately you think, I have something for that. And. I haven't got that ability yet, do I, where I can replace it? No, it's another level away, a couple levels away. But you do have the ability to replace it with some minor things as you put in a small wooden comb that you have in your pocket and close it down, lock it right back up, and continue walking on. You can add a jade comb to your inventory. Before the comb is replaced, I'm going to press the digitation it so there's no sample of rat hair or anything on it. 
wouldn't just want them case. using uh, the fingerprint technology of back oh, in yeah. the day. I mean, there's magic of scrying. You get you get a handful of someone's hair. True. You can look at them while they're pooping. Gideon often has. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Right. As you add the jade comb, you also <laughs> are given a lot of pity as you go through this street. As Pepper, you kind of look like a child. And how, with all of your tattoos and unsavory marks here in the city, you must not be able to find work. Bless your soul. As you walk through. Uh, y'all actually score 34 silver and Damn. 16 gold. Wait, how much gold? 16. 16. <laughs> I, I, write, I write it down. <laughs> High rolls on your uh, performance checks. As Pepper and Howe are having a solid time as Ren, Zania, Robert, and Celine walk through the streets, are you all heading towards the Red Wagon Inn? Roll credits. As uh, you go through, eventually you find the 10th road. Hey, other Cinema Sins fans. <laughs> As uh, yep. you go through, you find the 10th road and take a right, going eastward. This city isn't ringed so much as it is kind of crescent-shaped, uh, where you saw um, the big city above Novograd and have heard of uh, Korakrusha and their big city. It is very much uh, kind of layered. This one is, um, again, crescented to where it doesn't go all the way around, but they all kind of slowly converge towards where the palace or the castle is in the center. As such, once you go on this road, you start kind of going at a curved path, and you don't see much ahead of you, but maybe 100 feet or so. However... Eventually coming into view, an unmistakable bright red wagon sign. Wood carved in the shape of a wagon and painted red. Somewhat home, though you haven't done too much with red wagoning and adventuring here. But you recognize a safe space, if there ever was one. Lots of people outside the inn having drinks. It is now fully sunset and getting to be nightfall. You can hear lively music coming from the inside. What sound to be a lute and a cello playing dueling notes. Sounds like a good place to be. It's at this time I think um, we, re we join with the group. Okay, sounds good. Pepper, how uh, you eventually come back. Uh, Ren, Zania, you hear the clanking of metal uh, as Pepper seems to be stowing something in their pocket, uh, rejoining the group. Keep low profile. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> we heading to the end? So look to Zania and say, shall we uh, head in? It sounds like a party. Make sure the pin's nice and visible. Oh, yeah. Um, if you don't have a pin, is that a is that a bad thing? I've never been. No, you just you just with us. It's fine. We got you. Okay, um, great. Okay, awesome. I don't have one either. I, well, what what Pepper here is leaving out is that we have to pay for room, have pay for our food, pay for drinks. I thought I would no, have no, to no, do the, that the, at any end. The, the, too honestly, the, the guys along the path are going to pay for it. All sorted. Oh, <laughs> they offered to pay for our stay. Something. We like got that. you covered. Wonderful. Far nicer than when I was here. As nice is one word for it. How is just <laughs> smiling. As you head over towards the inn, this inn, noticeably not not nicer, but the the windows themselves uh, aren't just like slapped together haberdashery. The, the thick glass windows. Someone who does this trade puts a lot of heart and work into the glass on these windows, a solid wooden door and stone masoned uh, in. This is a quality Red Wagon Inn, if there ever were to be one, uh, compared to the one in Novigrad, the flagship one you saw that was kind of dying and run down. Uh, the door handle here, uh, brass as you open it up and on in, and the notes from the cello and the lute barrage your ears. But it's very, very good. As you walk on in, there are tons of patrons in through here. Pretty much all of them are human or gnomish. Where you saw humans, dwarves, and gnomes, uh, now you don't see any dwarves here. It's pretty much just humans and gnomes uh, all chattering about. You might even mistake a few of the gnomes for halflings. They're all uh, pretty similar in terms of size and stature, and none of you are halflings or gnomes, so it's easy to get those confused. 
as you walk on in. Everybody roll me a perception check. Perception! <laughs> Non-nat 20. Eight. 20. 15. 15. Oh! 15 Z-twins. And Robert got a three plus numbers, but three. Hell yeah, Robert. Yeah. I'm with you, Robert. As you all walk in, there is a table open and available, and it's booth style to where there's a bunch of booths that kind of run along a wall. And then there's several tables that are out to where people can sit. Uh, but the available table here is booth style with pillows that kind of uh, line the bottom. So you're not sitting on just direct wood. So it's, again, fancy and comfy in here, but not like noble fancy, just comfortable in this inn and area. Uh, as you walk on in, Ren, you take a quick uh, surveil of the area. Mm -hmm. When you're in here, you notice another mm -hmm. group of people mm -hmm. in a booth towards the back. Mm -hmm. Several unwilling that mm. seem to all be grouped together at a table. They all are playing some deck of cards in a game between a lot of them. And mm. the innkeeper or the barman of sorts is an unwilling themselves. Might even have noted or not have noticed it for their long clothing uh, and big long hat that kind of covers it up there. Um, they even have a bit of beard stuck to their bones, which is odd uh, and not natural. Definitely taped or put on there in some way, shape, or form. Uh, but this old innkeeper is mostly bone. Rin stops for a moment and is muttering under uh, her breath, <laughs> like, huh, I wonder what a unwilling changeling to be like. Huh. Weird thought. Um, no. I don't see you, anyone you I know. stay right? away. I don't, I don't see anyone I know, right? The one particular person? <laughs> no, you don't see Isabella. Okay. okay. Uh, then I'm going to go grab that open table. Okay. I'm you all sit at the table. It is. <laughs> I'm going to go grab the unwilling. <laughs> no, uh, I'm not grabbing it. It's mine now. <laughs> there is one table of folk between you and the unwilling towards the back there. Uh, several humans clad in leather with pauldrons on uh, and swords that uh, don both hips, seeming to be dual wielders amongst hmm. them. Well, if I'm sitting near the unwilling, I'll lean over and say, how y'all doing tonight? Are you going to the end? You're sitting away. From, you're two tables away from them. Oh, two tables away. Okay, then never mind. I thought yeah, it was there's closer. one table in between you, and it's booth. Gotcha. So like, you don't see them. Gotcha, you have gotcha, to walk gotcha, over gotcha. to yeah. Gotcha. Then never mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As uh, you all join and take in the booth, uh, eventually a barmaid comes by, uh, asking for your food and drink orders. If you're here to stay, uh, general questions. Yep. Yeah. We flash our badges and ask if we can get a couple of rooms. Coming right up. I will... Wait. Uh, sorry. Did I only count three? Yes, we'll pay for the rest. Okay, as long as you know. Um, so for the rest, that's three. That'll be 15 gold. You got it. Uh, How and Ren hearing that. Five gold a pop that's not... Person, that is expensive. Uh, but <laughs> Yeah, uh, Ren was used to 11 silver. <laughs> Pepper, do you pay them the gold? Or do you say yes? I just say yes. We haven't we'll sort we'll sort it out later when they ask for some of the money. Oh, she she stands there waiting then if you're asking oh, for rooms. Sure. I'll throw a little pouch over which has about fifteen gold and a couple silver in there. She stands on the ground, she opens it up, says, Great, no problem. Uh with that I'll give you each a room. We're heading back over. Uh, and you see her talking to the unwilling barkeeper or innkeeper she points back over to the or she I don't have that feet yet one day <laughs> hard to read the unwilling's lips anyway uh, as he <laughs> speaks back um, they talk before she comes back over and hands six copper keys down giving you each a room hmm never had my own room before it's been a while since I've actually stayed somewhere. Cool. Um, uh, ma'am, can I get your biggest mead or drink or whatever? Um, Coming right up. Anything else for anyone? Same thing. 
I would like. You look as if you would like traveling a while. Where have you come from? Sorry, me. At, to the group. Come from uh... Ashbourne. Oh, I know somebody who uh, went to work down there. Uh, a barmaid. Um, wonderful. It's a great was, place, I hope. What's their name? What's name? Terry? Do you know them? You can roll a history check to see if so. you've heard the name. No way. I don't know why I'm rolling. I've never even been to Seven. I don't know shit. <laughs> Fifteen. You've never heard that name before, uh, but. Just... I'm rolling for team. <laughs> no, but there's quite a few um, people down there. I'm, sh I'm sure that they're doing well. I hope so. Uh, well, uh, if you've come all the way from Ashburn, you must be absolutely tired off your feet. Why don't I, why don't I give you some yeah. salted pork? It's a specialty here. Uh, we make fantastic salted pork. Mm. That sounds good. That would be would amazing. Still, and I, I throw still, her a wink. I would still like a nice bottle of wine, please. Absolutely. Coming up. Anything uh, else? How, how much is the bottle of wine, by the way? I, I, I grab his hand, push it down. One bottle of wine, thanks. Of course. Um, does anyone look at the unwilling, and then back at the um, <laughs> kitchen, and just uh, can I get like a shot of your like strongest alcohol, whatever? Oh, oh, been a long ride, huh? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. no worries. <laughs> Isabella looks over at Pepper and says, "I think you misconstrued. Um, that that one bottle was for me." <laughs> That's fine. You can have that. A uh, Zanir, is it that kind of night? You want me to bunk up in the same room with you tonight? Uh, I don't know. I'll be fine. It's just uh, memories. Uh, just alcohol, please, soon rather than later. Would be great. And I, cool. my own, I give like a couple. Uh, couple yep. sip yep. the, uh, Over. Uh, uh, frozen. She's, she's, uh, uh, ready. She, she, she's already started drinking, guys. Oh my god. Hey, there she man. is. Oh god. Oh, you just did some horrible <laughs> ring stuff, like. <laughs> Yeah, when it all catches up, that's the scariest thing. When Jackie's camera catches up, because she'll be like slow, and then suddenly she's just. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I turned on the PlayStation. I think. Uh, so. Uh, uh, anyways, what were you saying, Zinnia? <laughs> uh, I'll be fine. I just alcohol sooner than later, please. Thank you. Working on it. I'll I'll head back uh, before uh, the barmaid. Heads on back uh, to go grab what seems to be a plate of ham cut thickly um, and sweetened, not just salted. Uh, it's basically a honey baked ham. Uh, I don't know if Australia or Canada have those, but honey baked mm -hmm. ham. Okay, great. Um, huge, thick slices of it just lining a plate, the ham bone right in the center of it, uh, covered in this sort of sweet, almost raspberry like glaze over the top of it. Uh, it's cut up to where you could just take pieces of it and eat it uh, with your hand as they bring over a whole bottle of wine, set it in front of Ren. You adventurers drink here for free. Zania, they slide over not just a shot, uh, they bring you a bottle of clear alcohol in an unmarked glass. Slide it across the table. They set a few shot glasses in front. They bring general mead to the table as well and some waters uh, as I'm not sure if Hayden's character drinks or not. She pictures me as somebody who doesn't drink uh, so, because their character is 18. So Celine's going to drink water uh, and kind of, she's, I feel also like she's a two-hand sipper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get her a small a glass of bubbly so she can giggle over that. Yeah, exactly. She's like, wait, okay, I'm... <laughs> Mom and Dad never let me have some, but I absolutely, yeah. If you if you let me, I'll like you're an adventurer yeah. now. Okay, uh, before Sydney so just like consumes, <laughs> get her like sparkling wine before she. <clears throat> Whoa, I'm. I think I'm beginning to feel it. I gotta say, and it's like <laughs> what, after the first sip. <laughs> Wait, is, has has Ren's hair changed color? <laughs> As uh. <laughs> yeah, right. as uh you're all conversing uh another um unwilling comes in uh and joins the rest uh in that corner it seems to not really bother the patrons that are in here uh, seems to be a pretty common occurrence and nobody stops and stares at them like some of them did down south are any of them dragonborn unwilling or 
Uh, there were no dragonborn. Uh, just unwilling humans, and then gnomes and halflings in here. What are we doing? We I think she meant and the, the, the unwilling unwilling that came from dragonborn. Ah, gotcha. Skills. See what you're saying. Uh, mm, mm, roll a perception for me. Okay. Sorry, that's going crappy again. So I apologize. No, you're good. You're totally good. Ooh, Sixteen. Sixteen. No, there don't appear to be any of the more rugged jawed uh, or even crocodilian looking uh, jaws of a skeleton. However, there are some that have more pointed skeletal figures as if elven in nature. There's probably about six total at the table now. Two or three of them are elvish in nature. I'll pour out shots for everyone. Zania slides shots of the clear liquid across to everybody. Uh, Robert grabs one. Uh, I grabbed I the one in front of Celine. Okay, yeah, she's like, I don't know if I hey, before. I just grabbed both. Yeah, yeah hers and mine. <laughs> Zania, you've given everybody a shot. You raising a toast or just giving them a shot? I look around and I just look at uh, Ren and How in the faces, particularly to new friends and adventures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To new friends and adventures. That. As Robert looks down at it and says, yeah. <laughs> He's going to shoot it back. Uh, everybody else taking a shot? Mm hmm. Two. How Two. pauses before he does? Because, like, how has, like, had wine and stuff, but he hasn't really, like, drank, drank in a while. So he's going to do the whole, hmm. But yeah, he's going to. Okay. You. Pause and look at it. Everybody else takes theirs, and then you take yours. Uh, Pepper, I need you to make, or everyone make a con check, but Pepper at disadvantage, since you're taking two. Oh, no. Con save. Oh, yeah, I'm good. The 23. 23. 14. Uh, 14 from 11. 11. At a disadvantage. Ow. Seven. Seven. Robert, solid 21. Uh, as everyone takes a shoot shot back, how again you're not used to taking hard liquor. Everyone, oh, ah, that's uh, that's potato mash, which straight vodka uh, at this point. Uh, that's brought to you. How you look at it and you're like, huh? You take a shot back, like the first time anybody has ever had a shot of vodka. You weren't expecting your entire throat to feel a burn as uh, it goes in. <coughs> Uh, everyone sips it back and kind of does a ah, kind of one of those ah, good stuff <laughs> before how uh, is kind of stuck in a coughing fit. It uh, doesn't do anything with the seven other than make you feel less cool. Uh, but I've yeah. had him a few times on the lower back. Here, take some mead to wash it down. Slice Not it. A, and Isabel is going to bite off the cork off the wine and hand it over. Y'all just okay. Um, how's gonna like take a sip of the wine, try it, and then I'm gonna sip some mead. I'm okay. gonna take that wine back. In. <laughs> I turned to How, and he was like, "You are," uh, and I go, "Put hairs in your chest," and I sort of like rub the overly hairy body that I've got. <laughs> How smiles. Um, fair enough. <laughs> um, thanks, guys, for uh. You know, just everything. This walk has been the craziest, but it's nice. It's different. I like it. We're coming along. And we get our own rooms tonight. And with that, uh, Isabella would like to make a perception check around the, the, the inn and uh, let's see if there's any attractive folks. Oh, yeah. Roll for attractive perception. And not, like, overly attractive. I'm just talking, like, you know, moderately attractive. Hey, I'll take that. Uh, perception plus four, so that's a 16. 16. Ren, look, you're a loner. You're not here to socialize with other socialites. You see a man who's a bit shorter well-cut and trimmed hair, bright blonde uh, that sits um, very crew-cut 
uh, at a table alone by himself. He's got a solid face and jaw to him, though a bit shorter than your preference. Uh, he's got a stern look to him. Looks good looking guy. Okay. I'll keep that in the back of my mind. I'm going to continue drinking my wine. He seems to be sipping a small cup of some smaller, so harder liquor than just ale, but uh, he's there alone. I'd like to uh, um, wish everyone a good night and um, walk up to the bar quickly, pop another little pouch with some gold, about 10 in there. If anything else is needed for the night, use that. If you need any more, tell me tomorrow morning. And then I head upstairs and go crash. Have a good night. Thank you. Uh, you, uh, uh, the <clears throat> barmaiden that you saw before says, thank you. Uh, do you need, oh, okay. Before you're just already gone. You've just given him the tip without much expectation. Uh, before Pepper kind of nods to everyone before heading on up to the room. Zania, Ren, how, what are you all doing for the night? Is it planning to be a night of drinking debauchery or just a few drinks before wanting to get a good night's sleep? I'm going to I'm going to finish off this bottle. Okay. And uh I'm going to ask for one more. And I'll pay for it, of course. Uh as you ask for one more as your one bottle of wine through, it's hard to get the question out even. Uh the barmaid says, "No, don't don't uh don't worry about it. The <laughs> other one paid for it already. Thank you kindly. With my 23 con save. <laughs> I guess I should roll it again. I, I am actually curious. Can I roll it one more time? We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, okay. Zinnia, how, what are you currently doing? Um, probably going to take a couple more beers, but I mentioned them to be like the big, the big OG. Steins. Yeah. yeah steins. And, um, just probably just casual conversation, getting to know everyone at the table a little bit more. I don't know. Celine is like, so I'm sorry. I, with, with all that I've had, uh, just my filters stop. She's like halfway down a bottle of, or a glass of champagne, just like a few gulps. She's like, normally I just keep to myself, but I just, I guess it's just affecting me. Uh, so, when, when's the first time you heard the thunder? Uh, I was just out and and it was a stormy night and I just I th- I thought I, I heard a voice through the thunder and that's 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 when I knew that's when I knew I'm just I'm just gonna say it that's when I knew that's when I knew I uh, <clears throat> I think um, I always heard it like we I kind of grew up you know on the side of the mountain so it's just. So it's all I've known all the time. So, oh, yeah, mountains are good. Good for that. Good for it. Good mm. for it. To mountains. To to mountains. As you take the stein back and go all the way down, she, mm. ah, ooh, ooh. and it's champagne again. Not not hard. <laughs> uh, as you continually speak with Celine and Rarber and learn a bit more about. Uh, Rarber and his uh, life and his goals. How, what are you doing during this time? After you. Uh, what? It was, how, what are you doing during this time? Oh, how? I thought you said how or Ren. I heard no, how no. or Ren. <laughs> Just how. Sorry. I, goofed. I was I was waiting for Ren. I saw like Drew lean in and I was like, hey, say, say it. Um, anyways, <laughs> how is doing the thing? Because like, I think he's sipping, but he's doing this in the corner where he's got like his like hood up because uh, he's he's drank a fair like fair bit. But mm-hmm. he's got like his hood on mask on, like just like kind of leaning against the side of the bar thing, listening to the conversation, like chipping in every so often, like when questions are asked. Um, but yeah, um, I think how, though, like anytime his mask is up, like he's covering it. Um, the more inebriated he's getting, the more his eyes are looking around the room. Um, and like, yeah, his eyes are getting like shiftier, but he's still just like chatting. Okay. How's part of the conversation? Zania, how keeps drinking? Ren actively keeps drinking a whole bottle's worth plus more. Con saves from the three. And also, at a quick pause before we continue, while y'all are rolling, Pepper, are you truly going to sleep? Hell yeah. Pepper has not... If I, if I remember correctly, Pepper has not slept in a bed for a long time. Pepper 
once you go up to your room, <laughs> you're expecting hay mattresses and you go to lay down on it and are pleasantly surprised by a wool topping. It's like sleeping on a cloud. It doesn't take you 10 seconds before your eyes fall and you are out. Ren, Zania, how? What were your rolls? I rolled another 18 plus 5. Is that a 2 yeah. from how? Yes. Zania? 15. 15. Solid. Since you've already been on some drinks, uh, Zania, you, you're a taller person. You have more just in general constitution. You don't have a rough morning ahead of you, but you have a good fun night ahead of you as uh, you eventually you're like okay Celine your uh, your inhibitions are gone you're like you're not even dr tip it back I'll get you another one uh, she before eventually this causes throughout the night the thunder twins to have an absolute riot <laughs> of a time thunder twins you no longer have any inhibition you go up as the cellist is playing some mm, mm, almost like canon type music and you you're like the drunk gals at the party who are like, Play Nirvana! Play Nirvana! Th no, <laughs> Thunderst Thunderstruck by Akadik! Thunderstruck, play it! <laughs> As, uh, <laughs> he's like, Thunderstruck? You're like, Do you know it? And he's like, Of course I know it. Dun, 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 dun. Now, on a cello, <laughs> he plays Thunderstruck, and the nice. party gets rolling. <laughs> For a chance for the other people in here to be able to party with the Leonin, that sounds amazing. Especially whatever this other creature is, an elf with feathers? Okay, cool. Uh, as the whole bar is bumping. How you're like, I'm going to join them. You know what? They're having a good time. And at one jump, when everybody's jumping up and down, your stomach finds its bottom. And no. it jumps right back up as how you rush outside and <laughs> you find yourself heaving outside the inn, blowing chunks everywhere. Ren, this is hilarious. This is so good. He probably <sighs> wants the wine to wash it down. Let me go give him no, some. No, no, I'm good. It's yeah. a 23. I think I'm think like I'm drunk. Don't get me wrong. I but... thought you said an eight plus five. No, 18 plus 5. 18, never mind. Wholly different story. Uh, <laughs> as uh, Yeah. Oh, no, I froze. No, there you don't go. give Hello. him more alcohol <laughs> then. Uh, yeah, you... No, I, what, what I will do is I sigh while looking at this guy over there, and I take How and bring How up to a room, uh, and then get How comfortable, and then I go back downstairs with my <laughs> uncorked bottle of wine. And uh, on the on the way back, was there anyone that would have seen me? Uh, like in the rooms? So you're taking how to his room? Yeah, correct? no, you know what? I'll do it while in the room. So in the room, I brush back my hair, and you see like dainty elf ears form, mm -hmm. and then pull the hair back around. I go back downstairs with this bottle, fingertips cross this guy's back, and give him a wink, and try and get him to come back upstairs. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me a general charisma check. Yo, that's what I meant to do. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, 17 plus 7. 17 plus 7. 19 plus 4. That means I score. As, uh, <laughs> as you look down to, because it was described earlier and I didn't get to give it, Marshall, Eminem, as a uh, character, is sitting there. As now Ren is gonna bone oh, Eminem. I rebuke. <laughs> I recant everything. You run your fingers along his back. Someone else. Before what's uh, my name, Ren? What's my name? <laughs> before he pulls his uh, trademark gray uh, hood off of uh, his armor, because Eminem. Uh, before you walk up the stairs and you see him stand up and follow. Uh, as Ren this looks like a job for me. <laughs> Isabella gives. I can't even give you a GFY. I set it up to uh, Zania. 
Denia's have having a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, doesn't just, she doesn't realize how loud she is. And uh, enjoy yourself oh, tonight. No. Hey, hey. The rest of the crowd all points to you now since Zania yells it and points it out and they're kind of the center of attention. They're like, yeah, get it! <laughs> As uh, the two of you walk up the stairs. Uh, <laughs> I can't give anybody GFYs for the Eminem thing and references. I set it up. <laughs> so, uh, Ren, you're being cheered on by the rest of the tavern. I ignore. <laughs> <laughs> Before you head upstairs and Ren... Has a solid night. Zania, you're dancing, having a good time with your new friend. Robert even joins in, uh, having just an absolute blast. It's all just fun, dancing, good times. How has been set up in the room? Zania, is there anything else you'd like to do other than have your good time and go to sleep? Um, so they drink water. And don't forget to drink your water. It's important before you knock out. Or else you have a headache in the morning. So, water. I've I've had so much liquid. There's no way I need water. You're gonna have to pee soon. Trust us. <laughs> Just I, wait for it. Then why would I want more water? Once you pee, you make room for the water. Hold on. She holds her hands out before you see magic flow from her fingertips and fall inwards towards her. Or she <sighs> actually, I'm good to go. Um, I think I will go to sleep mm -hmm. for the night. Um, are you okay? Yeah, what just happened? I have never uh, drank this much, and I hear of these things called hangovers, and I just, not for me. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't sound fun. Uh, yeah, so water. Uh, water. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Zania stumbles up the stairs to go to her room. So does Celine. Robert seems to want to hang out for a good while more down in the inn. Uh, he's having a good time with some new friends that he's making. Uh, before everyone's up in the rooms, how you were kind of brought to your room. Is there anything else you want to be doing before going to sleep? Um. Oh, and definitely cleaned up how, by the way, with rested digitation before putting how in the bed. <laughs> with a nice little kiss on the forehead. How, while he's laying, like watched um, Ren leave and was kind of chill. And then once the door closed, um, how I think being inebriated in a very new setting um, starts to like attune to the whispers, but realizes that he's only hearing what his energy comes from um, and how is like running around, basically trying to slam windows and things in his room, but as quietly as he can, so no one can hear trying to shut him out. And then how um, is going to wrap up the night laying under his bed um, and just like, Essentially having like a, a, a panic of his own. Um, Cause yeah. Um, I think how is like without like the soberness, like he's good at filtering like what he can do, but yeah, how's going to try and basically hide. Okay. As you're trying to be quiet uh, with your very low stealth roll um, cause of disadvantage and very drunk, uh, your quietly closing the windows eventually leads to just slamming them kind of shut uh just it's quite a ruckus uh before you hear kind of like a knock on the door uh before someone says like hey you okay in there i'm i'm, I'm you, fine you, you care if i come in are you all right who are you i just i heard a lot of noise i want to make sure everyone's okay I closed the window. It's fine. I I fell. I'm good. I, okay. I'm, just just checking. Yep. Have a good night. Thanks. Or you too. You hear footsteps walk away. Door. How does that thing where he like runs to the door, but like hears them fully away, and his hand slides down? And he's like, "Don't leave." Um. And how at uh, another like bubble attempt mm -hmm. to whisper and being quite drunk. Uh. And you could say no to this, but I would say that that may have accidentally slipped out out loud. I think how more so whispered it because like how's okay. not confident enough to ask for that kind of help. Um, and I think those bubbles that appeared from how earlier start to emanate around him. Um, and he just sees the memories from that other dude and how's going to now go under the bed and just try and sleep. 
Okay, sounds good. As everyone then gets a solid night rest, how your rest comes late, but it does come and it washes over you like a wave of relief. First to wake is Pepper. To a knock at the door. Hmm? Hello? Uh, The barmaid from before kind of opens up and says, hey, you have a delivery out front for they said that was for the rat folk. I assume it was for you. I haven't seen any other. Um, okay. Sure. I'll be down in a couple minutes. No worries. Well, it's, it's out front outside the door. So Thanks. Closes it. they never open it enough to see you just enough to kind of send the message. I, um, quickly get up and get dressed and, Go to Zenia's room, knock on the door. Uh, <clears throat> yawns, stretches, clears sleep from her eye, opens the door. Hey, it's me. Good, good morning. Um, you have a couple minutes? We yeah. just received a package for the rat folk. <clears throat> what? Exactly. Go in to get my shield and my spear and I... Okay, let's go. Okay. We, um... We quickly run downstairs. Okay. Pepper and Zania, uh, you head on down to the inn where you find uh, a passed-out Robert next to a couple other people with some uh, chips where they must have been playing a game of poker on the table there. Um, all just kind of drinks all around them. Uh... Money, nowhere to be seen. You're not sure if that's because they left it out and all kind of passed out or what. Uh, but Robert is passed out as uh, the barmaiden from last night sees you come down and says, it's outside. Um, I have a actually letter for you here. And uh, that's pretty much it. She slides it onto the tavern table there. Um, we open, I think we should open the letter first, probably. Zania, shall we? As uh, you take a look at the letter, it's not sealed in wax or anything, um, just a closed uh, little rump of paper before you uh, open it up. And it just says, Thanks, dash J. Oh, okay. Um, I feel less nervous. Uh, let's go. All right, let's go check it out. You head outside and you find what are multiple adventurers out there kind of standing and looking in uh, kind of not amazement, but just in general curiosity. A lot of them still masking the hangovers that Zania basically caused by uh, creating the party atmosphere. Uh, But they kind of look out and as you all come walking out, you hear a lot of lucky uh, as you stand out and see what are what's up and we cut it right there till next week (laughs) that would be good but no instead something bad hasn't happened yet (laughs) you see (laughs) are five black mares black manes and black whatever the other part is that's not a main tails <laughs> that go down yeah well maintained i thought there was a specific horse race for it <laughs> well maintained well brushed well groomed laid in saddles over the top uh tied up to the nearby horse's fence post well i guess why that, that's why i didn't bring him inside zinnia yeah wow i walk around each of them Go ahead and roll an investigation or an animal handling, whichever you'd prefer. E plus three. Oh, uh, yeah, 18. Look around. These are quality horses. Not only horses, these appear to be horses bred for war. These are war horses. Tall, heavy stallions. This is a kingly gift. Wow, these are not cheap whatsoever. 
Nice. Wow. Let, uh, let's ask the barmaid if there's a stable we can put them in, because I'm probably going to leave them outside, I guess, and we can show everyone else when they wake up, finally. Sounds like you guys had a night last night, didn't you? Um, I mean, it was just a little drinks and, like, fun. You know, it wasn't too crazy or anything. I don't think... I, I didn't realize Robert was still down here when I went upstairs. He's done it before. <laughs> oh, good. Um, yeah. Stable. Wow, these are really nice. Awesome. We're going to cut back to Al up in bed. How you wake up for the first time after a rough night. Your mask sitting beside the bed. Your your eyes still kind of have that uh, post dry feel to them where they're kind of they, they almost feel like they're glued shut. Uh, see the folded bed sheets tucked in over around you. You didn't tuck yourself into bed last night. As that's where we'll stop for this week. Actually, Next week we on Red Wagon Inn. <laughs> is back into the underneath of team slamming his hands on the table. Gideon, <laughs> my horse, my horse senses are tingling. They have done it again. They have gotten more horses. I just know it. <laughs> Poop and Gary, can you tell him to stop? I'm trying to have a nap. Absolutely my not. I, absolute, I, horses is my favorite part. I love mounted combat. Um, Gary, shut up. <laughs> we don't like horses. <laughs> I love horses personally. You're you're a character, Ren. You're a character or team. <laughs> Who's this Sorry, one? I <laughs> often say me, I me? often say Ren because you know you're playing your character, Ren. Uh... <laughs> when he says you're playing your character, Ren, Gideon looks at the camera and goes, "Well, that's goblins and ghouls." <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's stop it there. I think that seems like a solid place. You got some new horses. All things are good. And wow. only good things happened this episode. I yeah, right. That doesn't sound like a riot episode. What are you talking about? I mean, we asked for more yeah. good, lighthearted episodes. Only good things happened. I mean, Ren's having a good morning, <laughs> most Frost definitely. Turns out Jez actually was polymorphed each of his body parts into the horses as punishment for being bad. <laughs> 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 Excuse you, Team's character's name is Tim. I'm sorry. Uh, he would have referred to you as Tim then. I've, I'm not up on my ghouls and goblins lore. Uh, I need to catch yeah, up. Yeah, I was going to say, come on. Uh, could somebody update the ghouls and goblins wiki, please? <laughs> we have a wiki. No, that was a, that was a good week. Also, good week. Good. Luna did Ren correct me. a good me. night and a good morning. Hey, look, when you're with the real Slim Shady. Uh, hey, why not? Yeah, you're going to have a good time. Oh. Sorry, I've got to um, tell them about that form one more time. Hey, about that form one more time. If you haven't filled it out, we're trying to make the show better, and we can't do that unless we know what you like and don't like. If you want to see more rappers in the show, you got to put that on the form. If you want to see less, I'm no. just kidding. Don't put, don't do that. <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously, put less. <laughs> we know, guys. We're sorry. Nice. Uh, cool. Yeah. Well, well I want to know about, what you like um, and what you don't like about the show, so that we can improve it. How about we do this giveaway? Let's Not do it. a lot of people filled it out, so, you know, really good odds for the people that did. Remember, you can write a one-page script, and Drew, Jakey, and I will read what you put on there. So write it so that we can read it in however you want and tell us how you want it done. As you long as we approve seconds. and it's not, not safe for work, we'll definitely make it happen. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 30 seconds. I don't like that entry. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> you know what? Uh -oh. You know what? Know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, Let's go. Know. I ain't a writer. I'm a programmer. I'll read your program. Yeah. Zero, zero, one, 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 zero. If, one, zero, 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 if one, Ren zero. says, then blank, else blank. Whoa, whoa. I, I find that offensive. All right. <laughs> you can't just say that on the red wagon in <laughs> all right i am closing entries now do uh we're starting something new this week at the end of the shows we're gonna start rating people so yeah we're gonna be rating tonight 
over to uh they're playing vampire the masquerade raid them we're gonna be kill them all uh, closing entries that's raid what you're doing shadow raid, right? legends uh oh <laughs> uh oh and the winner is drew what did we say uh oh, uh -oh. binary solo uh oh it's, it's not broken it's not broken at all is it it's broken, nope. Nope. Drew broken. It totally it totally is it won't even oh no wow yeah, it won't even do that exclamation point, Drew. It couldn't handle us entering oh, it's it. It's because it's Drew's fault, first off. There you go. Oh, there See, we go. Bobo knows it. Uh, I'm going to have to do this manually. So, hey. What? What? Times. It's not broken. It's advanced. <laughs> it's not a bug. It's a feature. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> not a bug. Uh, it's cloud, a cloud bot is broke. Oh, okay. Okay. As far as the giveaway goes, we like, call it Cloudbot 2077. It's not a bug; it's a feature. Oh no! Oh, wait, 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 wait! Awesome wait! Big winner now! Ha ha! It's Les Malabudkith. Les Malabudkith. Look at you! Congratulations! Right up on right like the wind. Discord Bloodkith. I'm gonna sing the Doom song now. All right. Well, now oh, I'm gonna end. Do I? Do, uh, so I'm a bad streamer. Do I? Do I end stream and then you raid, or do? No, no, no. Um, I'll raid first. So, all right. Good night, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Let's go raid. Let's go.